Twisted aliens and demented cultists battle across the devastating science fiction world of Dark Age. Muster your forces and learn to survive at beastsofwar.com. Fame and fortune awaits in Blood and Plunder. Set sail in the golden age of piracy and claim the riches of the Caribbean at beastsofwar.com. Hey guys, this is Az with Beasts of War, and you're about to join myself and Alex and Jamie as we're going to have a let's play for the first time with Dark Souls the board game. And I am terrified. <laughs> <laughs> After doing the unboxing, seeing some of what is in this box, having it all now on the board and seeing it here, it's just it's intimidating to say the least. Yep. yep. So what are we going to be setting out to do in this scenario? So we're going out against the mini boss, which is the gargoyle. Okay. Um, to get there, we have to explore through some stuff. Okay, yeah. We find out what is going to be on these tiles, at least in terms of the difficulty, via the mini boss data card, okay, which you have over there. I'm going to show that off. So in the bottom left hand corner, you can see there you've got a 3, a 1, and a 0. Yeah. They are our encounter levels. So we need to take the level 1 and level 2 encounter deck, because okay. there are no level 3 cards used here. Okay. And we will place those out. So I will take one, and that they'll get placed on the tiles. The closer to the bonfire, the lower the level encounter. So right. that you don't get stuck behind something you can't do Absolutely. right at the start. So I'll pop one there, one there, and one there. So that is our level threes. Oh, sorry, level ones. Level ones, okay. Three level ones. And we'll find out what we are as we start exploring okay. through. And there is our one level so two. up in the corner here. Yeah. Um, and then obviously we've got the fog gate up near... The big nasty. Yeah, the big, the big nasty is a nice way of putting it. Just to show you guys, this is the Gargoyle model. Um, he is big. He is nasty. He's a mini boss. He's a mini boss. <laughs> mini I, I love that. I love that mini term. <laughs> um, but he's going to be on the sixth tile, essentially where we're working towards. We're going to yeah. have to... Now, we could go straight to him if yes. we wanted to, as long as we go through enough rooms. However, we'll be going at the mini boss with... Minimal gear. Yes, yes. Start yeah. gear. And um, so I'll just have a little look, you know, at my board here. So I'm playing the knight character. And um, you can see here I start with a kite shield, knight armor, and long sword. So essentially my, my basic equipment. Yep. Uh, I also do have a heroic ability, which lets me add an additional block dice once per what's called spark. Yeah. Yep. Right. Okay. Um, so we'll kind of come back to this a bit later, but right now we're all starting as base characters. Yep. We are all base, like base levels, base equipment. And who are you playing as, Alex? I am playing the warrior. I go and beat things up. A lot of <laughs> like area damage. I'm the, I'm the brawn. Okay, okay. Right. Who's the brains then? Uh, we don't have. We the don't have brains. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. So, uh, Jimmy, uh, I am playing the assassin. Okay. So, with my favourite character in the board game uh, and the video games, I love it. It's a, just a dodgy character with really spiky damage. Both so, both yeah. dodges and shifty, and also dodges in avoiding damage. Avoiding damage, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so what do we need to do to get started, Alex? So we need to make our, well, reluctantly make our way towards him, judging yeah. okay. on how apprehensive you are about this. <laughs> um, but we need to start exploring through. Okay. So all of the tiles are linked by doorways, okay. and obviously you travel through these doorways. We can't get to this one over here because these two are in the way. Okay. So we need yeah. to start with one of these two. They're all level one, sure. so within theory the difficulty is roughly equal. First, we need to choose who we would like to tank the room. So we will have someone who is the aggro so that the, the enemies can function properly. Um, <laughs> and I'm the brawn, <laughs> and he's the brains. Yes. <laughs> so I guess that leaves me. You're the wall. I'm the wall. Yeah. So that's so I've got the knight character. So I you are the knight. absolutely yeah. claim to be the first guy going in. So you'll be the first guy going in. So we'll pop this to one side. Okay. The, the aggro token, you will be the proud okay. owner of that for the first awesome. room we go into. Do you have any preference on which room you'd like to go in first? Ah, uh, well, let's see. Let's go to this one. We'll go You're going to go in this one yep. over here? So we flip this card over. OK. And if I pass oh. that to you, that yeah. will give us the information as to okay. what spawns in. So on the, the single spawn, enemy spawn, yep. we will have a crossbow hollow. Oh, boo. <laughs> on the double sword, yeah. enemy spawn, we will have two hollow soldiers. Okay, yeah. We will have one piece of barrel terrain on oh, the okay. node in the corner. Yep. And the two spears at the bottom show yes. it's trapped. No. Oh, so we will have some traps in here. Um, in terms of where the traps go, they are there are 20 trap tokens in total. Okay. 11 of them completely safe. Okay, so we're basically, we're basically, Jimmy's already got it all going for us, but 11 safe, 9 
no trap. Trap. Danger. And you've just randomly selected... Yeah, I just pulled up. Uh, it was only three needed for this room. Okay. Even though it's trapped, it's not terribly trapped. And they only go on to the yellow normal nodes that aren't entrances, that aren't right next to the door. Correct. Correct. Okay, yeah. cool. So there's only three traps in there, so not awful, but it does kind of limit your movement a little bit. Yep. Um, maybe make Jamie have to consider where he's going when he goes with some of his dodges. Okay. Straight onto the traps, through the barrel. So, we're set up. And these guys essentially are ready and waiting for us to come through. Yes. Right. So they, we basically choose where we are standing. Then they have a turn at trying to murder. Well, you. I say <laughs> us, it's you. Because <laughs> yeah. we've decided that I'm going to have the, the threat. The, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I think front and centre for me then. I think, yeah, you can get that for me. Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, I am going to go here. Okay. I'm going to leave you guys to it. <laughs> you can go. So they go first. Yeah. And now we can talk through their behavior cards. Absolutely. So, so, so what types do we, did you say we have? We have, we have a crossbow. hollow soldier. Yeah. So I'll get these. Crossbow hollow. And let's have a quick look. So the hollow soldiers then, they're, they're pretty straightforward. Nothing too fancy. So they have five threat, okay. which is higher than the crossbow hollows. Yep. So these guys will be activating first. And then they will simply move forward one node, make an attack for four damage against oh, yeah. one character, okay. um, assuming they're at a range zero, okay. and then they're quite easy to kill. So they're your super base level guys. Awesome. Okay. The crossbow hollows will be going second. Okay, have a look at them. And their icon for who they target is slightly different. Theirs okay. has got the skull in it, which means they specifically target the aggro. Ah, so okay. these are just going to move back one, away from the aggro, and then shoot you for three damage. And you'll notice it's not a shield with cross swords, it's like the oh. flare thing. That's magic damage, gotcha. whereas the other was physical. And okay. they have an infinite range, so you can't escape them. <laughs> they are just going to keep shooting at you until they're dead. And they're going to stay within the room, but they're going to essentially back away as far as they can to make us come to them. Yes, yeah. okay. exactly. Um, so yeah, so how, let's, how do we go through that? We start with the hollow soldiers So then? they will start because they have the higher threat. Okay. So this one, the, the target icon they had means the nearest. Yeah. And obviously the knight and warrior are equidistant, sure. both one away. So then we go to the tie breaks. You have the aggro token. Yep. That's the first tie breaks. They okay. both go for you. Had you not had the aggro token and the assassin had it, mm -hmm. you would then go to one of the things on the the player board, gotcha. which is the threat. Uh, sorry, the taunt. Yeah, we level. can just show that here. So and I have a high of yours a ton is of ten. 10 yeah. yeah, mine's nine. Jamie's is eight. So in this tie break, they would go for you. Yeah. Okay. So perfect. Let's see. So what. this one will move in. Yeah. He just moves one towards you. And then he will hit you for four physical damage. So as to note by the cards, there's no dice rolling for them, but I now get to block in response. Correct. Okay, so if what do I see for my block? I have, and I'll show you guys at home so you can just see where this comes from. So I have a kite shield here, and that's going to give me one black die of block. Yep. And then I also have my knight armor just here, and that's going to give me one blue die of block. Is that right? Yep. Okay, cool. So this is physical damage, so you will use your block. Okay. So the two options you'd have here would be dodge or block. Right. You don't have any dodge because Not a you're a knight. <laughs> <laughs> so you're blocking it. Okay. So, so I'll grab two You roll these. your dice and then basically whatever you roll will be subtracted from their number four. Oh, I'm nervous now. What did I get? So you rolled a two. I got a one and so a one for two. So you just take two damage. Two damage. And so that is denoted on my bottom bar here, which from the left is stamina and from the right is health. Correct. And you yeah. use the red cubes to show that. And that will go there and there. So you've got eight left. Okay. The second fella. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness. That was just the first one. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to come in. Okay. And he's going to do exactly the same. So okay. I'm assuming you'd like to block it again. Absolutely. I think I will go ahead and do just that. And we'll see how lucky I get. Okay. Two so again. So take another two. two. Oh, my word. You'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> so everyone has 10 everyone health has 10. on the endurance bar. It's the that endurance right? yeah. bar, okay. yes. Because it's made up of stamina and health. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And then All one right. more. So do you remember saying about the crossbow guy who yeah. shoots the aggro? Yeah. You're still the aggro. I'm still the aggro. So the aggro will change as soon as someone else activates. Right, okay. So you're not necessarily stuck with it permanently. Sure. He's going to move one away from you. Okay. So he is now further away than he was when he started. Yeah. Then he's going to shoot you for three magic damage. And the movement distance is all done by these nodes. All by they're the nodes. Even though they're different colours to represent where the, the enemy spawn and the tree and spawn, they're all called nodes. Basically. And obviously there is, between this node here and yep. say this node here, there is a different physical distance okay. to the, dif the distance between these two. Gotcha. But that still counts as one node. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so he's obviously got the range of me. So, so what's his magic damage. Yeah. Three of it. So okay. your your magic resistance is slightly different to your physical block. Yeah, so for this one, my magic resistance is only coming from my armor, which is one black dice. So yeah. you only get one black dice against this. Oh. So you're guaranteed to take at least one damage because the highest number on the black dice is two. 
thanks for telling me just how much this <laughs> there is, is a blank hurt, on Alex. there too. Hey. There That's possible. <laughs> so you just take one damage there. I just take. So you're yeah. just at, at half health. Ideal. <laughs> just at half health, turn one, and I haven't even gone yet. Correct. Yes. <laughs> yeah. well, so Dark Souls. Souls. This is this is a decision point for the group now. Okay. Where we get to set the the sort of activation order. Right. So we get to choose who goes first now, mm -hmm. but it will continue clockwise from then on. Okay. So it's say for example I kill the last guy in this room, mm -hmm. Jamie would get the first activation in the next room. Right. So there needs to be a degree of tactics that go into that because ideally you wouldn't want the aggro being the first player. Absolutely. Because that means you would be getting shot by him yeah. twice in a row. And as soon as your turn you tech the arrow, you're making an, like an attack or a move or yep. some variety, so they're going for you. Yep. Okay. So um, I'm a cleavy kill things on node guy. Yeah. So I might be a good shout for the first activation here. And yep. so just explain to me then, we have three models and myself and two hollow soldiers on a yep. single node. So how would it work if we wanted to have you come in? So there is a model limit of three per node. Right. So if I wanted to enter, I would have to choose one model to push out. Okay. And that's entirely up to me who it is. Right. I would push you out okay. because I want to kill both of these guys. Yeah. So, um, and can you push me to one of these non-potential trap areas, so one of these two? You get to go to any adjacent node, and that's your choice. So you could go and hide with Jamie. Ah, if okay. you were suicidal, you could go and jump on the trap. Well, it's entirely up to you. <laughs> I think I've taken enough damage for one round. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, I'd be a okay with you going first, Alex, and trying yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will take the aggro token. Okay. I will move in. I will choose to push you out. Okay. And everyone gets a single move from a node to node, adjacent node. And that one is free. Free, okay. And then any after that cost one stamina per node you move. Right. So you could run around the tile for a bit if you want. <laughs> but. I don't know how well that would yeah. go for you. Oh, I see you bringing me forward there, Jimmy, towards the crossbow guy. Yeah, I'm yeah. OK with that. Because I'm going to murder these guys, and then you can go and murder him. You've yeah. made a solemn promise that you're about to murder those guys. I want to yeah. see it now. Definitely. <laughs> so that movement was free, because yeah. I only had to move one node. And then if we go to my attacks, did you want to show my card? Yeah, let's have a quick nosy at what you are working with. So you've got the battle axe. So the, the number shown in the square brackets is the amount of stamina it's going to okay, cost yeah. me to make the attack. So for zero stamina, I could have two black dice. Okay. For two stamina, it's the exact same dice number, but that icon next to the ah. two means it hits everybody on the node. So that's right. a cleave attack. Okay. And obviously it is range zero, so I have to be standing on their node. So I'm going to pay the two stamina to try and cleave these guys down. Okay. And I'm definitely going to do it. If you'd like to pass me oh, yeah. El Capo. There you go. Let's pop so it anywhere down there. I will take out these ones, because I'm not... I haven't... Got, got the nice, got blue, the nice, nice blue shiny dice, blue yeah. dice. No. And then I will yeah. pop that down there. And I roll nice. a two. They only have one armor, so they are both dead. Ah, and one, because you cleave, because essentially hitting one's like hitting both. Yep. yep. Okay. Awesome. So it's just one cleaving swing through them both. And that's them dead. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, I'm, I, was I'm, I was pretending to be worried yeah. the whole time. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm now done with my activation, okay. so they get to go again. Had I not killed those two, ah. they would now hit me. And he would shoot me, and you know how <laughs> I am not as tanky yeah, as you are. Absolutely. So that might not be great for me. Okay. But they're both dead, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I get shot by the crossbow guy. Yeah. I too only have the one black okay. dice. So if I and again, his it's because his targeting doesn't work on nearest. It works on who's got the aggro. Whoever has the aggro. Okay, lovely. He cannot move away from me. He does move first, yeah. but he cannot get further away from me. Okay. So he's going to sit tight where he is, and then I am he's going to He's packed up in that corner. Yeah. One damage. Nice. Oh, good work. So we're in a pretty good spot. Yeah. This has gone pretty well so far. <laughs> I guess the key thing to take away is that the stamina that you exert and the health you lose, if you clear a room successfully, goes away. Go, you get that wiped. back. Yep. So, OK, yeah, yeah. This you're game's fine. easy. You're Jamie, fine. you're up. Go finish yep. him. I'm going to go your loan up. So free one to go here. OK. Spend one stamina, because it's my second node that I'm moving okay. on. So you're going to so. pop a black dice into your endurance. Yep. Or black, sorry, black, black, black cube. cube. Yeah. Uh, I am then going to spend three stamina. Okay. So fill my bar up quite a bit here. Okay. To make an attack with my S stock. So that gives me three black dice. Um, but because it's not a particularly powerful weapon, it's yeah. more of a fencing weapon. Uh, I am suffer minus one to the dice roll natively. Okay. Minus the armor, so I'm at minus two. Oh, so, so he's so he's got an armor of one, and you've got yeah. a minus one. So yeah. it's going to be whatever you roll, two off. That. Minus, two okay. off that. Yeah. So into the cup. Oh, no, I, don't, I don't like this revealing. No, the cup. I don't like the cup thing. The cups. <laughs> it adds to the tension. It, it's like Schrodinger's cup. I've killed it <laughs> and I've not killed it. 
<laughs> you have killed it. Yeah. it. <laughs> so I've got a roll of four, minus the one from the weapon. Yep. Wood from the armor, leaves the two. Get him out of here. He's gone too. That is that room successfully cleared. Awesome. So we would generate two souls per player per okay. encounter. So we would get six souls from that. So I'll go ahead and pass you over. And these go on in our, our cards. These go over in our soul cache. Okay, there you go, sir. Now at the end of it, I was the last person to kill one. So as you are the first player going into the next room. Nicely Do you remember that, mis- you remember that mistake that I said that we could possibly make of having you be the aggro and the first activation? Yeah. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> so we can come back to the bonfire here yeah. and we can spend some of these souls we've got to try and get some new loot. Okay, so just basically talking to the characters. We're not actually resting at this point. So just you mentioned the sparks earlier. Yeah. They okay. are functionally our lives right. as a group. Okay. When one of us dies, we all come back to the bonfire. Okay. So we are as strong as our weakest link. We need to work cooperatively as a group. Oh, wow. So it's not like someone can run and come back and rejoin again. It's just... Nope. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. We have three sparks. So we okay. have three lives which is three attempts to reset the board and farm up some souls. Oh, okay, right, okay. If we die without any sparks left, mm-hmm. we have no bonfire to go back to. The bonfire's gone out and we just lose. So we can just straight lose. Okay? <laughs> okay. We won't. We won't. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but we can. <laughs> so but we get our health and stamina back now, right? So that, so... that all wipes. So yeah, you clear awesome. endurance bar because we successfully cleared the encounter. Yep. Mm-hmm. And we have six souls. Would we like some treasure? Yeah. Is that a silly question? Obviously. I, I want some loot. Oh. Okay, so one soul down. One soul so per card. Doesn't matter what type of loot comes card. up, but just one. Yeah. So it is soul arrow. Oh, so it's a, a spell. <laughs> Bagsy. Bagsy. <laughs> you require 16 intelligence to use that. Let's have a little look. I am see. rather intelligent so, sure. in the game. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it shows you. So this is a zero strength, zero dexterity, dexterity yeah. uh, 16 intelligence, and zero faith. So do you actually have that? Uh, so it would cost me to go from my base level intelligence of 11 to my tier 1 intelligence of 18 it would cost me 2 souls to get up there and I could immediately equip that item. wow um, and so we've got 5 left so that would be 2 so 3 left Yeah, I would be Seems okay or we could draw another web another so card we first more. and increase our options yeah, let, let, let's go more. until at least we've got 2 souls left and we can yeah. see if there's anything else and it is the Lothric with. Knight Armour it says knight in it, so instantly you're like, oh, that sounds like me. <laughs> Let's have a little look at that. Bagsy, Bagsy. It's got my name in it, you know? <laughs> so this one requires 21 strength, zero dex, uh, three on intelligence, and then 15 on faith. So I would need, if I have a quick look at my player tile here, I'm currently on 13 strength, so I need to get that up one tier. My dexterity intelligence would be fine, but I'd also need to get my faith up one tier as well. So that would cost you four to equip that. Yeah. So we have a judgment call to make, <laughs> because we have four left. <laughs> do we want our tank to be tankier, or do we want our assassin to be... We'll assassin. say assassin here, but I'm not sure that's yeah. a word. <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I, I think I'll survive one more encounter, but if we can get it before we start hitting the level two ones, I would like to get yeah. the armor on. So, so I think let's yeah. give it to the assassin If for we now. spend two... And the assassin can level up his intelligence to have yep. his soul arrow. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wrong one. Is that oh. the wrong? No, you took the right one. There you go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sitting on the... If you hold that over by you, yeah. just so we remember you're working towards it. Okay. So technically that card is in our inventory, but the inventory is going to get busy. Okay, good. So keep that over there so that you make sure that you remember you've got it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swap my airstock out for the soul arrow. Okay. okay. So I've got it available for use immediately. And essentially you can, if for, for any reason you wanted to, swap between those at the start of your activation? Yeah, so I could, in my activation, swap out my shield for my S-stock and just go magic, stab. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. And so you'd have to pay the stamina, I assume, for both? Could you? Yes, yeah, I would have to pay for, for both. But it, it means that if I really need to finish just one enemy, I can okay. try my best. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm more happy with that decision now, knowing yeah. that you can dual wield magic and daggers. That's good. So yeah. we Our have... Fencing. Two left. So the decision is, do we give you two to level up one of your stats that you need for that armor, mm. or do we just do two more flips? I'd like to level up. Okay, so yeah. if we use oh, those two. That was easy peasy. So I just basically grab either, because in this case it's strength or faith. Either your faith or strength. But it's not going to affect anything else right now. So no. I'll just go ahead and take the strength cube across. Okay. Pop it up one to tier one. And mm. that is the loot and leveling up process. Super simple. Yeah. Nothing too complicated Six souls, there. draw cards, level up. Love it. And then we Next have a choice. Room. We can either travel through this one okay. now. This one's clear. We can just go through that as if yeah. it is like the bonfire tile. Mm-hmm. We can either go into this room via this room, mm-hmm. or we can head into this one in the corner. I mean, initially I was kind of like, can we just get to the boss? I'm like, I want more loot. Okay. Um, so I think 
Let's head in the, the back room. Yeah. This one. So we need to decide who's going to tank it. Oh, yeah. If you want, I can tank this one. Because you're going first, it's okay. probably an idea. Because so you'll get the first hits, but I'll then have any aggro that comes afterwards? So I would take the first hit. So they go, they would be prioritizing me, yeah. dependent on the layout of the room. Mm. Then you activate, gotcha. you murder one of them, yeah. and then you will have the aggro, <laughs> and then it comes to me. And if I'm in dire straits, I could use my Estus Flask. Right, okay. So my Estus Flask will just, at any time during my activation, I can wipe my board, much like that happens at the end of the encounter. Fantastic. If I'm in trouble, but... Once you've used that, you don't get it back until you reset the sparks. Which should bring all the monsters back Correct. again. So yeah. really, you want to keep your rest. You want to hold on to really. it as you, long as you, you possibly can. You want can. to use it in the boss fight. Okay. But if we get I that think, far. Yeah. Yeah. I think okay. there is more important. Um, then yeah, I let's... So um, I'll, I'll take the aggro absolutely. for this one. Yep. So Jamie, if you want to flip the card out. All right, uh, I'll pass this over. Yeah, we look like we've done all right in this one. Uh, so this is Ghostly Keep. So we're going to have two... Is that just simply Hollow Soldiers? Just Hollow Soldiers, yeah. And then it looks like another crossbowman. Yep. And then we've got a barrel and a chest. Oh, we have a barrel and a chest. So okay. I'll quickly talk, while Jamie's laying them out, I'll quickly talk through what the different terrain does that okay. we've seen so yeah. far. The barrels, they sort of impair movement. Mm -hmm. You can dodge roll through them. Okay. If, you make a, if you choose to make a dodge, you right. can dodge roll through them and it just smashes them. Awesome. Okay. Yep. Or you could spend one additional stamina to move onto them and, and smash them. So. Okay. If you used your free move onto it, it cost one. If you right. used a, another regular move, it cost you two. Chests are impassable. There's no way of getting rid of them. That is just a node that you right. cannot move on. Um, but if we successfully clear the encounter, mm -hmm. we just get two treasure flips. Oh, for just finding the chest, basically. Yep. Nice. Yep. Okay. So, so this is a good room. Good nice room, room to start with. Um, um, well, I. Yeah. So what we could do here, interestingly, mm -hmm. depending on how gamey we want to be. Okay. I'll I do could, whatever gets me more loot. I could go here. <laughs> okay. You could both stack up on me. Oh. Because these guys only move forward one. So I would get shot. Yeah. His attack doesn't hit an sure, area, so sure. it's just me. Okay. So the only attack that would go through this turn would be me getting shot rather than me getting hit twice and ah. then shot. I like the idea that we kind of looked into the room and went, those guys are quite far away. We'll just sneak, sneak in. Up, sneak around um, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good with that. that. So yeah. these guys will go first. Okay. Because they are still the highest taunt. Their yep. taunt level won't change. And we'll move those at the same time, mm -hmm. even though they activate independently, because they're going to do gotcha. the same thing. Yeah. Um, so they will both move to there. Mm -hmm. And then the crossbow guy will shimmy over to here. Mm -hmm. This is on uh, me. Moving around the barrel, currently. getting further away. I see that now. And then he's going to shoot me for three magic damage. Okay. You can pass me the cup. The cup. The cup okay. of dreams. <laughs> Schrodinger's cup. Please Let's go. be another two. So it's three damage, and then your resistance is one. So I will take two damage. Okay. Not too bad. Could be worse. Went pretty well for you. Yeah. 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 Could, could um, have been significantly worse. Uh, mm -hmm. And it is your activation, so the awesome. aggro passes to you, and you get to choose what you want to go and murder. So I mean, I feel like we're all none of us have good resistance to magic, mm -hmm. and that no. crossbow man's just going to keep doing at least two or three. Vice conversely, though, the other two guys are going to come in and hit us twice. Um, but I yeah. feel like chasing the crossbow man might be the yeah. move for me. Sure. So, so I'll let you guys. Yeah. So I get one one movement for so, free. Yeah. One for free. And then I'm going to have to spend a stamina for each new That one will thereafter. cost you one. Yeah. That one will cost you two. Okay, so just to show. So now, now my health is all back again, but uh, and I have to start filling up this side. So you just run from one end of the room to the other to go and chase down Captain in, Crossbow. In, in, <laughs> in heavy armor. It's not as no light feet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so I'm going to then, if I have a look at my weapons then, so I have the long sword is going to give me the option of doing a zero stamina, one blue, yep. or four stamina for black and a blue. So yours is different to mine, obviously, where yeah. mine was the same amount of dice, but one of them had a different effect on yeah. it. Yours is just a light and heavy swing, effectively. Yeah. So one just gives you more dice. Sure. Um, and his armor, as we've seen in the, pre in the previous room, he's got an armor of one. Yep. So I basically just need to do more. So I think on the blue dice, I'm going to go for the one blue. You know you're not in any danger from these guys. Yeah, let's do the four stamina then. So this okay. is going to, so I need to fill up, I need to grab another black dice. So this, and yeah, this is risky. Nice. I mean, obviously we know that the monsters aren't likely to come after me in any way, shape or form. However, what I now have is a six filled, six stamina spent in my endurance bar, yeah. which means if I was to take four damage, that would be me done. Yeah. So when you're looking at kind of like the risk management, mm -hmm. which is kind of the, a big thing of the game yeah. is assessing the risk. We know that the guys over here aren't going to come for you mm -hmm. because you're not the closest. Yeah. Even if you fail to kill him, the most damage he could do to you is three. 
Nice. So you know you're definitely not going to die. Cool. <laughs> he then shoots the aggro, who won't be you next okay. turn. Yeah. So within theory, Should there is even fine. if even if this goes entirely badly and you don't kill him, you aren't going to die for it. Okay. And that's what a lot of it goes into the thought Absolutely. pattern of it is how safe uh, am I overextending yeah. too far? I like I like that a lot actually. Mm. Thinking about uh, how strong the monsters are, how their movement works, who they're going to pick out, who the threat target or aggro target is at the time. I, I love it. Um, okay, I'll grab my black and my blue and see. I just need to roll a total of two a on total those of two. two on these two. I got two. two. Glad on the nose. I added a black dice in. For I saw nothing. the blank there <laughs> on the nose. Yeah. So and, whoppa, he, he is away. gone. Lovely. And now you are completely safe because it's over to these guys. And even though you're the aggro, myself and Jamie are both closer. Okay. Okay. So one is going to move in. My taunt is nine. So you're, so you're gonna hit me. <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. Sure. Definitely gonna be fine. <laughs> so it's four physical damage. Okay. And what's your defense? Then? I have two black dice. Two black. And I'm gonna be legal. completely fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong. I'm gonna roll two twos and take no damage. <laughs> I took three damage and rolled one blank and one one. <laughs> <laughs> so oh and you'd already taken two already. Half health. Yep, I got shot. In the first turn and took the two, but I'm going to be fine. Okay. Because now the other one's going to move in. Mm -hmm. But there's ah, three models on there okay. already. So, if it's okay with Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> it is I'm, a cooperative game, right? Yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move, he will move in and will move me out. Sure. So we're just sharing, sharing the damage yep. a bit. Uh, but he is going to now hit Jamie because Jamie is now the closest. Yep. Uh, and we're going to do something different now. Instead of blocking, I am going to use my dodge. Yep. So to dodge, I have to spend one stamina. Ah, so you actually do have to exert yourself. Yeah. So this is different from just shielding yep. up. Yeah. So I spend one stamina. I then position myself where I want to end up. So you get to move. You can stay where ah. you are if you want, but you do get to move one. So essentially, that one is you're paying for a movement. And, and you could use this, as you mentioned earlier, to break the barrels. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, I was one away from a barrel. And uh, <laughs> just for dramatic effect. Yeah. And so how many dodge die do you have in your uh, armor? I start with... Two dodge okay. in total. So I get to roll two dice, they're 50 50 dice, and I believe I need one success. So this is just one success, but as we were talking about the dodge value on the cards earlier. Yeah, so I'll yeah. show that very quickly again. These just guys, so you guys are can just see the dodge value of the, one. The hollow soldiers basically just have, yeah. Yeah. Exactly there. So that just means Ir irrelevant of how many dodge dice you're rolling, you will only ever need one success. Perfect, okay. Sure. So Jamie, just don't roll two blanks. Oh, oh, hey! Nailed it. Is there such a thing as a double success dodge? No. <laughs> no I found just, uh, just enjoy Pirouette the thing. fact that you haven't taken all of the damage. Because yeah. had he failed that, he'd have taken all four damage. Right. When you add the stamina you've paid for, essentially you've taken five damage rather than oh, the four. Okay, so blocking is always mitigating damage, and if you block enough, you take nothing. But with dodging, it's either you're taking it all or, or you're, you're taking, taking nothing. Well, you're essentially taking it all plus one <laughs> yeah. or nothing. Oh, my word. I don't know if my heart could deal with playing that kind of role. <laughs> Just be too tense all the time. Okay, so, awesome. That's them done. Yeah. We escaped without anybody dying, mm -hmm. and it's my Hooray. go. Hooray! And they are nicely stacked up. Ah, cleave time. So I am going to move in for free. Okay. I am going to pay two stamina to make my area attack again. And I just need two black dice. I can so. grab I'm them all over here, sorry. And I just need a two okay. on these two. Oh, oh well, we, we still managed to end up with a cock dice. I'm going to do it anyway because yeah, they're dead. dead. But I want to see if. So, yeah. But they do die on a roll of two. They both die from that Great. single attack. Success. And we've successfully done the room. So if we start off, if we clear our endurance bars, they get wiped off again. And Man. then we get some loot from the chest. I thought Dark Souls uh, was hard. You killed the last model. So I, I the get the first player token. There you go, sir. And Thank we're back. Much. Normal services resumed with our tank can be the tank. <laughs> so the chest will open and we okay. get two treasure flips. Ah, fantastic. And those treasure flips are a short sword, which I will pass that's over strange. to you. Let's have a little nosy at that. Okay, so that's pretty pretty straightforward. So it's really uh, 23 decks required for that, though. Yeah, Ooh, that sounds like a weapon for me. Yeah, definitely not for 15 a strength and 23 decks. And then we have a Clorinthy ring. Oh. A fan favourite. I'm super glad you pronounced that. Oh, okay. Now this has like a, a special ability attached. So to that it? is a an armor upgrade. Okay. Um, it requires 18 in every stat. Wow. And it has a special effect. So we haven't seen this mechanic come sure. in yet. But when the, you, you're playing as a character mm -hmm. and it cycles round, yep. and say I had spent three stamina in my previous activation, mm -hmm. 
if it came back round to me before I've got rid of that three, yeah. you recover two stamina at the start right. of your activation. The Chlorinth Ring enables you and anybody standing on your node wow. to recover three rather than two. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, so I'm a long way off getting that because I would yes. have to get the tier two for Intelligence of Faith and tier one for Strength and Dexterity. So probably not going to. Yeah. So we can pop that in the inventory. That's yeah. one for later. We do have six souls. But we do that also room, right? get the six souls. So we yeah. could spend two of those. Have you got them there? I've still got them here. Lovely. Um, we could spend two of those to get your faith up. Then yes, you have please. your new armor. Yeah. So if we do that first. Um, so I'll go ahead and bring my faith up. That leaves us with four. Yeah. And I can just instantly swap these out. And Perfect. I might have a look, because you can trade equipment, including starting equipment. Oh. I might have a look, because that is an upgrade oh. on mine, but wow. I'm not sure if I can use it yet. It only requires 12 strength. My base strength is 16. I lose my dodge, okay. but I only have one dodge dice, and oh. that's too risky for me to take. <laughs> so I'm actually just going to have your armor. So this is this is where you could decide to kind of go a bit tankier, or if you double down on the dodge, you could have yep. then taken a shield with a dodge yep. and gone that way. Okay, I like okay. it. But I am... I'm role playing a knight now. I'm like uh, just wandering around in my knight. Is this town ain't big yeah. enough for two knights? <laughs> well, you've got a fancy sword. I've got like a crude axe and a wooden shield. So you're, you don't, you still rule the roost. <laughs> so we've got four souls left. We still haven't spent any luck. Okay. There's yep. nothing in the inventory pile that we're looking to work towards immediately. So did I'm we drop guessing. both our treasures? Did I did I cut in too quickly? Did we so do we got the Chlorinthy ring. Oh yes, and we the did. short sword. Oh, we did. So we've got. Four souls left after we spent the two to upgrade you. Would we like some more treasure flips? Start doing some treasure flips, yeah. I think. Yeah. for that. So the first one will be the master's attire. Baggy. Baggy. So this is... <laughs> this guy? This has got two dodge on it. It has no block, no resist. It's all in, this, doubling down on a dodge build. It doesn't look very... Uh, yeah, it doesn't look very sturdy as, as attire goes. So it's just no armor, no flowing. resistance, two dodge. Can you dodge magical attacks? Yes. You can dodge. Wow. So the difference with the dodges, obviously the the difficulty comes in as you progress through the game yep. when you're doing a block and resist build, mm -hmm. is knowing what you're working towards. If okay. you know a boss, if you fought against a boss and you know it has a lot of magic attacks, and then you want to be sort of focusing on getting right. that magic resistance up. <laughs> if it's can you use that immediately? No, oh, no. you need to level up towards that. But the dodge advantage is. Any, you dodge any damage. You don't need to kind of split your build into, yeah. okay, I need a bit more resist now, I need a bit more block now. Dodge is just, I need as many dodge dice yeah. as I can possibly yeah. get. And against a boss who potentially hits for five, six, you know, huge numbers, yeah. that a dodge is just magic then. Yeah. Um, that's, and that comes with two modification slots as it well? It does as well, yeah. So, um, so any rings, like the, if we look at the Clorinth ring later on, obviously the assassin has to spend stamina to dodge. So very often, even before his activation, Right. I could go first. Jamie could have taken the aggro when we first went into yeah. the room and had to make three dodges. Oh, wow. And Spent then it comes stamina. to him and he gets that three back straight away. Because if you're fantastic. dodging, yeah. you're spending stamina out of activation. So there's lots of different ways to make use of the items you get, even yes. just in their core stats. Yep. Um, okay, awesome. Love it. Um, so so for me to equip this, I would require six souls. Six souls. So we've got three left. Because uh, it requires more to go up. The yeah. later souls? So, so from base to tier 1 yeah. costs 2 souls. Okay. From tier 1 to tier 2 costs 4. And right. from tier 2 to 3 costs 8. Okay. So that makes it exponentially sense. bigger and bigger each time. Yeah. It costs okay. 14 souls in total to fully upgrade one stat. Which, really noted. Which doesn't sound that bad when you think we get 12 souls from two rooms, mm -hmm. right? But then you remember that there's three of us. <laughs> <laughs> so Who shows the loudest, gets the most souls. <laughs> so what we could do. We could have two for Jamie to start working towards okay. that master tower. He can do yeah. his tier one and his mm -hmm. dexterity. Then we can sign up, reserve four from the next room for Jamie to get his master's attire. And then I'm less of a liability. Then he's got three dodge dice. He just jumps straight oh, up to right. three. All right. I think when it comes to the boss, I think I'm only going to be able to tank so long. We're going to need someone to yes. hurt it. So I'm, yeah. I'm totally good with that plan. But we do, we do have three. So if we do one treasure yep. flip, and yep. then Jamie can have two. Yeah. yeah. So Jamie, if you want to pop your decks up, so and I will sort this getting treasure faster. Ooh. Oh, if, you're ma if you're making an <laughs> ooh noise, I want to see it. Yeah, no, you're not allowed to see this. So this one's for me. <laughs> um, so it's a spiked mace. It's a big two-handed weapon. Wow. Which also hits node. And has some block on it as so, well. So hits node is in everything in your area. So it's, it's cleave, similar yeah. cleave to my battle okay. So I get to keep my roll, mm -hmm. but I get a new toy. So if you want to have a look at it. It does have three attack options as well, not just that, the two that, that we've That versatility seen. is so awesome. 
So you have one, three, or five. So one will give you a black and a blue, three will give you a black and two blue, and five will give you a black, two blue, and then that node yep. cleave ability in essence. But I'm not um, going to tell you how many souls I need to upgrade that because you tell me I'm not allowed 32 it. strength. How so is that? it would oh. be six to get to the... I'd need 12 souls in total to use that weapon. You'd need two rooms. I mean, I don't want to say it, but we've got 12 souls we did on the board. Yeah. We do. And see, initially when I first came into this, I was like, we might have to potentially, if we die, kind of everything's going to respawn, we'll have to fight it again. But I'm like, I kind of want to fight it again. <laughs> I kind of want to get <laughs> well, more the, souls. The thing is, obviously, as the, as we go through, we're getting better. Yeah. So these are going to get easier and easier and easier yeah. to a point where it's like, a, you almost... the like The perfect example is the first room mm -hmm. where we knew... As soon as we looked at it, it's like, well, I just go for the cleave attack because yeah. we had the choice over who went first. Perfect. So say, for example, we went to the fourth room. Mm -hmm. As we're going through the fourth room, we're like, don't forget, Az needs to kill the last guy because Alex needs to go first <laughs> to maximize <laughs> how efficiently we can clear this Amazing. room. Yeah. Um, so let's get into the third room. Let's keep going. Yeah. So which way would we like to come in? Oh, I Should never even considered that. So we, we can either come this way or we can come this way. Okay. It's three choices either way. We can either go here, yeah, here, or here, 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 or it? here. So yeah, yeah come around from the room. Yeah, could we come around? We come around. Look the around room. that yeah, way. Yeah, like yeah. role playing that. Uh, would you like to tank? Absolutely. As you got would. your new equipment. Yes. This is Lothric knight armor, and he's tested. So, yeah. Jamie, do you want to do the honors? Flip over the card <laughs> and tell us what's in there. Oh, uh, we have got uh, a gravestone. Okay. Oh, okay. So two crossbow hollows and a hollow soldier. So while Six Jamie's seven. setting that up, I'll talk through what the the gravestone does. So that's on this week card here. So that's denoted by this little symbol. Yeah. Just there. So the gravestone, similarly to the chest, just blocks movement. Can't okay. do anything to get rid of them. They just stay there. Okay. And they interact with the boss deck. Oh. So when we have gravestones, we get to have a look at some of the moves in that boss deck. Okay. So essentially, how do we collect that? Do we just need to clear so the room? So you just, as soon as you successfully clear the room, you're considered as having access to that. Right, and that's kind of like almost getting a hint or a tip or some insight into what the boss will do later on. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's yeah get me in. Um, I think right up in front of them suits me just fine. Mm -hmm. Brave, brave tank. I. I know the bravery's not gonna last that long. And I'll go here. Yeah. Okay. So we know we know how these go now. Yeah. Yeah. This guy will move in and hit you for four damage. Okay, and so I'm now. I actually haven't changed much my normal defense for yep. resistance attack, but the Lothric armor increased my resistance to magic attack, so that's yep. better. Yep. So I get a blue and a black as mm -hmm. before for my blue. Is actually going to be really handy in this double crossbow room because now you possible oh. that you can block all of the damage because there is a three on there. You're not guaranteed yep. to take that, and you're guaranteed to reduce it by one because there is no blank on a blue. Fantastic. Dose. So the most you can take from those is two. So this is the swordman, the hollow soldier first. Yeah. And so he's doing four. Yep. No, no he's he, not. None, so that's as a, the case maybe. That's a three and a one. Love it. Okay. So now you're gonna. <laughs> now we really test your metal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll go with this guy first. Yep. He's gonna move back one, and he's gonna shoot you for three magic damage, and you yeah. now get your one blue. Get my one blue with my armor upgrade. And oh. you take just the one. That's okay. That's good. And then the other guy won't move because he can't move further away yep. from you, but he will also shoot you for three magic damage. Okay. Oh, and you two. take two. But you can see the difference when you would consider in this yep. room, the first one we went into, you were down to five. Yep. Now you're down to three. You can tell you're gradually getting better. Absolutely. Um, and it is Jamie going first. Yep. I'm going to try and be super assassin. So we will pass the aggro Agro, token yeah. over, and Jamie's going to get killed. Probably. <laughs> uh, I'm going to swap out my target shield for my S stock. So I've got my magic in one hand and my sword in the other. Oh, yes. I'm going to make a free move into this. Uh, node here. Okay. So I'm, I'm on the same node as you. Yeah. I am within one, two, three. I'm within three nodes of this crossbow hollow. Okay. And which the soul arrow we had was range three, so you oh. can shoot him from a distance. Okay. So I'm going to use my free soul arrow attack, yeah. which okay. gives me two black dice. Okay. And have you got on the crossbow hollow card? What I, is their magic res? Because this a is a look. different type of attack. So let's have a little nosy at their card. So their card, the crossbow, their magic resistance is zero. So anything I roll, as long as you roll at least damage. a one. Just no blanks. And this There's is no two blanks. black. Two black So dice. we could see blanks, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. <laughs> <gasps> I'm going to use my luck reroll. Okay, this is good. Yeah, so I'll, I'll show it on my, on my card as well. So yeah. Because everybody comes with, this is it here? That's the yeah. So this is your luck token. Which you can spend for one dice. You or? get to re-roll one dice from any roll. And you spend that, and then once you go back to the, the campfire, 
you can then spend one soul to get that, to get that reroll back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jamie, let's, let's... So I'm going to reroll one of these dice. Blank, 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 no! blank, blank. Yes. <sighs> okay. Got him. So Got he him. dies. <laughs> so, he, so he goes away. That fella's dead. Oh, I love it. I'm then going to spend three uh, stamina. Oh, to make my heavy attack. Superstar, he's going in on with the solo soldier, soldier as well with his sword. And so a single attack, if you're double weaponed, you can basically just do both. You can do it with each. each once. But you, but but you now have to wait for your activation to come around again. So giving my... up that shield means if you were targeted, yeah, he now yeah. has one dodge. It'll be right. fine because he's dropped a shield that gave him his second dodge. So if yeah. he gets hit by something, which he's guaranteed to, because yeah, he's the, the aggro, and that's yeah, a crossbow yeah. guy. <laughs> I'll be fine. Uh, can I have another black dice? Of course you can. Thank you very much. Okay. So this is minus one because it is the S-Doc, and minus one because the armor. So this will be this dice. is a roll of three. Minus two. Oh, I didn't and do And he it. only gets the two. And we, we can't use our luck rerolls. To... Jamie is now in trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Jamie is now in big trouble. I'm in so much trouble. Because he's got four damage coming in here. The biggest trouble. And three coming in over here. And Jamie's so... got three stamina down, so he's kind of got six, seven endurance. And then you with. consider that a dodge cost one. Each oh. time he dodges. I'll be fine though, guys. Don't worry. And okay, so let's let's play this out. Use luck offensively rather than defensively. I killed the guy though. Yeah, good good job. I'll be fine. One I'll be guy. Fine. I'll be fine. Right, so <laughs> over to them. Yeah. This guy is going to start by hitting Jamie. Okay, so yep. this is the Hollow Soldier, so he's going to be doing a four. Four and physical what, damage. And yep. what? So what? Do you have a block option at all? Uh, I do. I do have one black dice, but I'm going to make a dodge. On Big brave one boy. stamina. One stamina. For how many dice dice? One. one. So and he wants to. So 50 50. 50 50. With no rerolls. With no rerolls. But it's going to be fine. Oh, Jamie. It's going to be it fine. This I'm alive is horrible. Dead currently. Oh, no. It's all gone wrong. <laughs> so, where, what space would you have moved to? Because you still, oh, you still I, have I to still, move? I still get to move. Yeah. Uh, and I would move to here. And you're going to take the full four, full four on top of the one you spent to try and dodge. Yep. So how many spaces do you have left? I have two left, which is fine. I have one more for so dodge. So if he doesn't make this dodge from this crossbow, he's dead. Yeah. I'll be fine. Don't worry. No one panic. Uh, I get shot by the crossbow. Picnic. This accelerated so quickly. <laughs> I told you, the assassin's fantastic until he's not. So the crossbowman, he is three potential damage. Yeah. And I'm just going to shoot him because to, to survive, I'd need to roll effectively a five or a six on my block dice. Oh, just... So the percentages are I've actually better, yeah. slightly better. If this comes up blank, we die. If it doesn't come up blank, we live. Now this is true. I really short. don't want to look. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God's sake! <laughs> so Jamie died. That's a prime Sorry. example of. And I quote. I'm going to be risky here and get rid of my shield. <laughs> and that happens. So we Punished. die. So if I want, if I pass you that, so oh yeah, how many? See what the spark how many looks like. Blanks so this is this is essentially our continues. This is our yes. this is our rego. So that goes down to two. That will go down to two. So and that goes back on our fire. And then that comes over yeah. here. Unfortunately, we didn't have any souls in our cache, so, so we didn't drop any. So drop had any. we had any, ah, so, so say the, we had had two in our cache. Yeah, I would have placed those two where Jamie died. And then we would have to move back onto that node to collect them to gotcha. keep them. If we died before we got there, so they'd just disappear. These encounters that we had previously, what happens to them? Do we draw new ones for the nope. rooms now? Nope, they just so they are kept on the, the tiles that they were on. Right, okay. And then they just get flipped face down. So the trap so, one with the trap will yeah. be over here. The one with the chest will be mm, over here. Well, indeed, there you go. And, and I, feel like I, know, to, I feel like I know there. the answer to this question, but the chest is going to respawn? Nope. No. <laughs> chest do not respawn. It's worth, it's worth asking. You only get them once. <laughs> so then we would explore, back out, keep fighting. Absolutely keep fighting. I mean, I guess my preference might be now just to kind of... Beeline towards this yeah. way so we can see the level two. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. What yeah. could possibly go wrong? Okay, let's do it. Um, let's so get who's... me my dodge armor. <laughs> You need it. I need it. I need it, obviously. <laughs> so, obviously, Jamie had the last activation yep. there, so you will have the first activation. Okay. But I am now equally as tanky as you are sure. against physical. So I can happily take this one this time. Um. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's do it that way. So I will take the aggro. We'll flip that over. I feel like, I feel like that was Fema's last words. I can happily take this one this yep. time. I just, oh. I'm like... <laughs> so we've got the two sword yeah, guys and right the again. single crossbow guy again. Yep. Yeah. So the two hollow soldiers, I should probably give them their proper name, yeah. will spawn there. And Once the, you've killed enough hollow soldiers, yeah, they're, they're all, all the just same. Uh, <laughs> That's Steve, that's Dwayne. <laughs> um, I am 
So do you remember what we did in this room? Yep. You're going to be sneaky again. Love it. If we stack up on here. Yep. And that's how it happens, because the room essentially spawns, or the, they can down before we then choose where we're going. So you always yep. get that opportunity to kind of yep. make the most of your positioning. Which yes. Is, yeah. However, like the, the risk comes in is obviously you have to choose the aggro beforehand. Yep. So had this been a big magic damage room, mm -hmm. say there had been three of those guys, yep. It may have been a consideration to have Jamie tank it. And take yeah. the dodges and see. Yeah, absolutely. Because I mean, they went so well last time. Probably not, but it could be a consideration. <laughs> OK, so they're going to come in. So these guys will come to here. And they I'm currently, yeah. And then they will, because I chose to tank it, he will move away from yeah. me. And then I get one black dice. Yeah. Our favorite Grab the death old faithful. <laughs> And I take two damage okay. from those. And then it is your activation. As. Okay. Yeah, so I think very straightforwardly. I, I, again, it's kind of, I feel like it's much of a muchness which one I go for here. As um, long as these guys are stacked up, I can yeah, exactly. so deal I think, with them. So if you wouldn't mind moving me one forward, and then we'll just do... One forward onto the... Uh, oh, can I not move to here one? No. Do you not, not want to... No, 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 I think I think, sure you no, I think I don't want to go to the trap, no. Okay, so you go one there, that one's free. <laughs> and then one stamina, and then another stamina yep. Yep. to get in. Okay. So that's two of your turn. <sighs> I mean, you could go the long way around of go... Uh, move to here. Yeah. Move to here. 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 <laughs> Trigger everything. You'd be fine. <laughs> I feel like you guys are tempting fate now. I'm yeah. not sure I'm okay with this. Um, okay, so I am rolling either a blue for zero stamina yep. or a black and a blue uh, for four. I'm just doing black and a blue. Yeah, we're yeah. in the same situation as the room over here where you're at, within you're theory, safe. you're safe from death. Yeah. Okay, so I'll pop in my four sets, six of my stamina used. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'll get this. Go. Let's see what comes up. Oh my word! Okay, I'm he's super dead. Super mutilated. You killed him. You killed him out. three times. Gone. <laughs> Love it. I could do with more of that. Okay, so they are now going to activate. And they will both come in here. This okay, is so on you. They will come in. The first one will come in, and he will hit me. And that's because that's because we have the threat on the the actual yep. characters yep. themselves. The tight Warriors nine. Yep. I now get eight. one of these and one of these. Oh, go. look at you all. So what I think we might do. When the next one comes in, we can push Jamie out because I can take this. Yeah. Oh, I wish you stopped saying things I'm like that. I'm a big brave Alex. boy. See, no damage from that one. Nice. <laughs> and then the second one comes in, and we shove Jamie out onto yeah. a trap. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> so he moves out onto the trap it's and blank. flips. Oh, it. So it's a blank trap. Oh. So we now have oh, extra. Me. We <laughs> now we now have Maverick. extra information. My, my my heart can't deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> we now have extra information. That, that is a we can happily move on that. My note D and D now. history was telling me that was a pit with a giant cube, and you were gone. <laughs> you were just gone. <laughs> so the second one moves in, okay. gives me a punch. Oh, look and at I that armor! One doing work. Just the one, and then it's my activation. Correct. Awesome. Chop. So pass this one to you, doing? Yeah. Keep track of that. And I am going to spend two stamina yep. to try and cleave them down. Okay. And this is definitely going to go 100% right. If you tempt fate enough, it just gives up keeping track. Yes, yeah, fate. <laughs> like, how many times have they said that something was going to work? And they Three. die. Nice. Room done. Yay. Tempting fate works. Oh, highly recommend it. Highly <laughs> recommended. So do we get souls again? We yes. get souls again, okay. yeah. Souls every time. So we clear our bars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, easy. And then we get our six souls again. So Jamie. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Can I have four? Jamie, Jamie, <laughs> slay me, Jamie. <laughs> Is it worth a cup of tea after this? Are you going to make the tea? <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. So would you like the four? Is it four you need four to get I your... need to get my he's master's He's already attire. moved it. Like, he's, 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 <laughs> yeah. but he's already shall moved it. Do... <laughs> shall we do what? Well, I assumed we'd... that was done. Spend four to get the... Uh... Master's attire. Absolutely. So we've got two left. Oh, yeah. I feel immediately safer. I could start working towards my spiked mace, okay. or we could do some flips. Yeah, get your spiked mace going. That's... So two towards that. And I, I like actually... I like the idea of spending them now, so we're not risking leaving them behind. I think yeah. that's yeah. Uh... there will there will be times that you need to do it, like to get from um, tier two to tier three. You need to spend eight. So I mean, you have, have to, so you have to hold two. Have to hold two. Okay. Or you could hold more. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna lose them, you're gonna lose them. Yep. Okay, so so we've gone through this room. Yeah. We're gonna rush straight into the tier two room. Do you want to go straight in there? Yeah, I think uh, you big brave boys. I think let's get into the tier two room. Yeah, um, please be nice. Um, this is on you. Yep. Okay, so reset all of our bars. I think now 
Level two room. Level yeah, two room. Yeah. Um, so if we clear this one, that then gives us access to the fog we door. We could go through to the boss if, if we, we want to, or we could continue clearing if we felt yep. necessary. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. If you want to bring us along. So are you? Are you? Man in the, oh, I'm absolutely man in the door. Yeah, yeah. Get me, get me straight in. So, well, you, if you so, want to flip the card over, yeah. And what so, do we got? So we're declaring me as the first player. So we have. Oh, you're gonna have to tell me what that is. Actually, that's a new oh. symbol to me. Uh, read oh. the name. I don't want the to. The name's a hint. Sentinel's wrath. No. So it's a sentinel. Okay. One of the big brave boys. Yeah. The so biggest, the biggest boy. The sentinel's <laughs> wrath. So it's gonna give me. Okay. It's the mini mini boss. <laughs> this. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at him. He he's big. No. He he's Eats pretty. So he's going to be starting right there. Oh, that's kind of oh. cool. Like at the entrance way to the door. <laughs> so you, I just picture you like. Do, 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 do. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Trying the same tricks we've done before. We're going to snuck around the corner, and it's like no, no, not this time. And then we've got that a gravestone. Uh, so yes, um, yeah. And the then we've got a barrel. So the gravestone's going to go on, is that like a sun symbol? Yep. And then the barrel on the yeah. other terrain symbol. Yep. So interestingly, obviously the, the colour choice of purple and yellow may seem like a bit of a weird one. Yeah. They were done conscious decisions due to people that are colour blind. Oh, we right, fantastic. People because we've, we've tried to double down on it where we've got different symbols yep. and colour blind friendly colours. Nice. Like these cubes used to be green mm -hmm. and red. Yeah. Not a good colour combo. No. So that's why some people have said, like, they just seem like really weird colours to yeah. pick in terms of the Dark Souls mm -hmm. universe, mm -hmm. but we wanted to make sure that it was accessible to everybody. That's fantastic. And do you know what? To me, oh, like, obviously I didn't really pick out, they all they all stand out well, they all look clean yeah. and crisp and clear. Um, so, you know, obviously not being aware of kind of the carb line awareness myself, but the fact that you've done it in such a great way that it works perfectly and also cares to that audience, yeah. it's really nice. Um, I'm holding the Sentinel card. Um, <laughs> I like so this, <laughs> so. this is the jump. That's the perfect from, reaction. This is the jump from tier one to tier two. So straight away, the first thing I see, ten health. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go through the rest of it? So we've got ten health, and obviously yeah. he's threat nine. Okay, he has to have threat because there are encounters where there's him and some friends. Sure, sure. Yeah, the tier three <laughs> ones where there's like two Sentinels and three other guys, but we'll get to those later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He will move forward one towards the closest. Okay, yes. Yeah, so and there's a push icon on there. Right. We haven't had any interactions with pushing. Yet, okay. But essentially, that just means you get pushed to a node that is adjacent to the one you're on. Right. He has a range of one because obviously, with his moving in and push, yeah. he'd never hit anyone if he was range zero. Wow, okay. But then he has a six damage physical attack. <laughs> Which hits the entire node. So what we've been doing, where we've been oh, coming yeah. in and stacking up, you don't do that. Interestingly, okay, okay. we're going to have to have to stack up to a point here, okay? Because there's only two nodes available to us. So one of them's going to have two boys on them. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to think. So would I be right in saying he's going to push me no matter what happens? Correct. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I need to take your advice here because I, I guess my thought would be that I would come right in, be right in front of him, yeah, and and be ready to skirt. But he's going to push me back, and then he's going to move up after the push. But you could, you could, when you get pushed, it's any adjacent node, right? So you could come onto the same one as us, assuming we both go there. But I'd rather you didn't, yeah, <laughs> especially with Jamie's history. Yeah, um, okay. you could come here, yeah, there, there, or you could like crawl between his right. legs and go where he came from. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Yes. Then it, let's do it like perfectly. Let's get you guys. I'm going to go well. on that one. Yeah, I like to join. You want to come with me? I, I mean, I don't really yeah. want you here. You're, <laughs> you're bad luck. <laughs> so he will go first. Okay. Because that's fair. Yep. He will come in, mm -hmm. and as he put, hits you there, when he comes onto your node, you get pushed. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll sort of essentially go down to here. If that's okay. Right. And then he will make his attack against the nearest, and okay. according to the tie breaks we explained earlier, yep. you are the nearest. So he will now okay. hit you for six damage. Hit me for six damage. Yeah. Um, Physical damage. Okay. So I'm rolling a black and a blue yep. for that. Um, I do have my once per spark and uh, stand fast. Heroic ability, is that what it's called? It is a heroic yeah. ability, yeah. Which means after making a black roll, I could roll an additional blue die on top of it. Yes. Um, yeah. But it's only a once per spark, so we'll see how this... And just to clarify, that is a specifically block. So if this was magic damage, you couldn't use that, because right. that okay. is a resist roll. Nope, that makes sense. I think for the knight character, I think that makes perfect sense. Um, all right, let's go ahead and see what happens. That's not bad. So That's, you not take bad. Three. That's not bad. I'm, I'm okay with that. You take three. Um, it's not so bad, right? <laughs> He's only got 10 health. What could possibly go wrong? Jimmy, I think. want to see this double web. Oh, have you switched back to a shield again? Oh, he's, he's using his shield, <laughs> for, that shield for, now. for now. 
for now. I know what he's like. He'll get carried away eventually. It's, it's like, oh, he's only got three health left. I can do that. I only did two damage, and now I'm so dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's about right. So who is activating Frost? And it is Jimmy. All right. Uh, so I'd like to run to the other end of the room. Please. What? So go, I'm about to get away. So you're gonna go free one. one? Spend one. Spend one. Okay. Oh, right, right into the oh, right into the corner. Right, right into the corner. As far away as it can yeah. possibly. So you went he's got one, range three. Can you spend one just to here? Yes. Yep. yep. Okay. So that's one spent there. Yep. And then I'm going to spend four to go for his big soul arrow. Big, big blast. And so this is the second selection for my for spell. Yeah. And what do you roll for this then? So it's range three, which one, two, three. He is in range of. Yep. Uh, and I roll three black dice. Okay. So I just need an extra one, please. There you Thank go. you. Uh, and I roll against his um, resist, which is just one for the Just one. Team. Okay. So ah, so introducing a bit of magic damage here. Now he's getting. So he's got two, two against physical, okay. which I just I can't do. Yep. So he, he I'd be minus three to get that. So I'm gonna use the soul arrow. Yeah. Hopefully start plinking away some damage. Hopefully this way a bit. Oh yep. wow! So it's a big hit. That's four. Minus one for his resist. Just three damage. Three damage. Nice. So he has seven to go. So how do we note that? Is uh, it these, little? these little skulls yeah. here? So I'll pop one beside him to yep. show. So we've caused three. Okay. All right, seven to go, and that's me. <laughs> so he goes seven to go. Jamie ran away. Yep. So he's going to hit would. you again because yep. you have the highest taunt out. And he's going to come in and push so me he'll again. He'll move in and push you, and you yep. can go wherever you. Would I'll like kind to of go. keep trying to keep him away, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, although the only thing is, I want to keep him within your three range. Oh, well, don't worry about that because yep. I can always move into range. Okay, so I think if we have a little look, what I'll do is just head into this corner. Yeah. And yep. he's then going to turn. And then he's going to smack you for six. Oh man. Okay. You got there. You go. So a black and a blue. Oh, that's okay. Oh, three more. Another three. Yeah, like this is. So you'll go next though. So decent mitigation. Can't uh, can't be mad about that. So another. Oh man. Now this is gonna. This means I can't use my heavy longsword attack because that would be four stamina, yeah. and that would be me done. And I can't. Yeah. Yep. Can't yeah. voluntarily do that. Um. So it's gonna just have to be a base longsword attack, really. So your two choices are mm. base longsword attack, yeah. or you could Estus Flask and then attack. Oh! So he oh. is coming after you next, because you will get that aggro oh, token man. from me. So yeah, because I'm actively nice. So, oh man. So if I Estus Flask, I'll get rid of the six damage I've taken, then but then I'll use four, four stamina. Oh, man. Do you think Do you think you're going to be able to finish him off? Oh, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You guys have been hogging the upgrades. I've got nothing. I've just got you. I'm the junk knight. I've got your second hand armor. I I almost want to take the risk that I don't Estus Flask yet. Okay. <gasps> oh, you, you've, you've got to consistently you've, take your I can three use my, and you have your heroic. heroic. And I can use my heroic for an extra blue and I've also got my lucky reroll yep. 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 once per return to Fubon Fire. Yep. So, okay, I'm just going to do my base uh, blue dice. So, you're going to move in free? Yep. Thank you. And bear in mind, if you read the... Is there a special effect on your armour? On my armour? It actually says, when you end your activation, gain one health for each enemy on your node. So Dude, you'll get one health back. I was too busy the... looking at the pretties to notice the health you won't, That won't happen yet. It's at the end oh, of your activation. Sorry. But you will get five. You will have five boxes oh, when you end your activation. So and does tank. he attack during my activation? Or is that separate? That's his activation. Okay. So... Okay. So you do nothing, unfortunately. He has two armor. He has two armor. Oh, I forgot to look how much armor he had. Okay, no problem. I'm okay with that. But, so um, you will get your one back, assuming awesome. you're ending your activation. There. I am indeed you get the one back there. from the special effect. Nah, that's and do you know what? To get like an essentially a reasonably entry level piece of gear with extra dice, abilities to keep track of. I love it. It's, it, yep. it doesn't. Everything feels unique. Yeah, uh, which is so cool. Um, and now he's going to activate again. So outside of embers and titanite shards. Mm -hmm. There and some of the starting equipment yeah. because obviously we've got a sort of limit to stick be stick within as to how good starting equipment is. Yeah. There are no identical pieces of equipment across <sighs> the game and expansions for it. They all incredible. have different something different about it. Don't tease me about expansions. Don't do it. I so like <laughs> to start his activation, yep. you will get pushed off first. Absolutely. So, so he will shove yeah. you off first. Then he's going to move in at you. Yeah. He. Is definitely and look at this like he's ended up cornering Just me you, like glue. So he'll push you again. So uh, you get shoved on one of the three oh next year, and then the he's going to spin around, and then he's going to look. You you know how much uh, damage it is. You know the well, drill by now. Yeah, this is I the just... third time you've had it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, nice. just and two. you just take the two on that one. Awesome. So I mean, we're still still kind of. 
Now the tricky thing is I can't use the Estus Flask now though. So yeah, I have to yeah. wait for my activation. So I need to come in and take this aggro from me, basically. Try and help. Yes, please. And I'm trying to think of the best way to do that because it's unfortunately where okay. you're positioned, I come in, mm -hmm. I get it's gonna reach a point where I can't get him off you for okay. two in a row. I can oh. get him off you when while yeah. I'm the aggro. Okay. But once I'm not the aggro, I can't get him off oh, you. Oh don't anymore. worry, I'll be coming in for this. So we need I'll, Jamie I'll, I'll to we need to double need to get, down okay. to keep you safe. See if we guys <laughs> So I'm gonna come in, that yep. one's gonna be free. Yeah. That one's gonna cost me one. Okay. So I am on him. You have a great dice for this. So I need a spike to do anything. But this doesn't cost me any stamina okay. to make this attack because there's only one guy. I don't yeah. need to pay to do my. Does it cost you one stamina for the move? Get there, yeah. It yeah. does yeah. cost me one okay. to get there. Okay. And I am looking for anything above anything two. Above two. Ideally four. <laughs> okay. Oh, so he takes one. one. That'll do. So he's got four damage, that. six health left. But I'm yeah. happy with that, yeah. and that is my activation over. So mm -hmm. he will shove me off. Okay. And I will go over to here. Yep. Then he's going to follow after me, actually. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you, will. yeah, yeah. you will indeed. I'm just trying to work out if I want to get pushed onto yours. No. If you'd be closer, but Ooh. we'll be good. So he's going to go over Don't there. Don't you make me die, Alex will fall out. And then I'm going to go to there. Okay. And, and then I get hit for six. I get the exact same dice. A blue and a black. Had, okay. Because I have your old armor. <laughs> the junk knight. <laughs> yeah. And I take three. Man, he hits hard. Mm -hmm. Like, and this this is just a tier two monster. This isn't yeah, like a yeah, mini boss. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Sentinels are pretty tough. Yeah, but he, unfortunately, he's got no friends with him. Yeah, <laughs> or traps in the room. Okay, so GME over to me. So at the start of my activation, I recover two stamina, so I have seven available. Okay, great. Uh, I'd like to move up into base contact because I need to pull him away so from you. One, two. Three. So I spend those two that I regained to get there. So you got one free walk and then mm -hmm. two stamina for okay. the additional two. Uh, I'm then going to spend four of my stamina. So I've got one pip left. Don't worry, he's going to est us. <laughs> one. Am I? Right? <laughs> <laughs> got one pip left. Uh, and that gives me three black dice to make my soul arrow attack. Okay. There you go. And you can do that even though you're in base to base contact because you're trying to take some heat off of us, you can still make a. Still make the magic attack. The attack. attack. Yeah. There, are, there is a symbol for certain weapons that is like a zero it's with a line. shaft shot. icon. So it doesn't work in. It doesn't it, break no, a range zero. Range zero. Yeah. So spears and things like that. Makes sense. Okay. So I see this it, minus one. Uh, so two damage. Okay. Number two. Whittling so, him down. So he's yeah, got four health left. He's got six damage, four health left. And then I'm going to use my Estus Flask. Awesome. To recover, and you can use that at any point during your activation. Yep. All, all health and all stamina, health and stamina back. So I spent as much as I possibly could yeah. to get the most out of the Perfect. Estus flask. I love that. And um, so he's now going to shove Jamie off. Yeah. Push me away. I'll go directly backwards. Oh, I can see and then he will move in. <laughs> the the amount of movement is epic. Actually, seeing just the ebb and flow of it all. Um, is really nice because that's how you imagine this. They're dodging, they're blocking, they're yep. parrying. The attacks just aren't always a swing. Sometimes they're a jab or a charging jab or yep. shield bash followed by an attack. It's very, for something that's so simple in terms of the nodes, it's very nice to see how it all yep. plays out. Um, okay, so. so Jamie, me back where do you want to get shoved? Uh, I'd like to go uh, backwards right there, yeah. 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 Could you have gone to the barrel or the gravestone? Nope. Were they both blocked you? No. They are yeah. currently blocked, but I I know what Jamie's doing here. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Jamie, you now get hit for six damage. I'll spend one to make a dodge. Can okay. I get my three dodge dice, you please? Two over there. There's one more for you. So that is from your new armor, and you decided to keep your shield on this time. Yep. Where okay. would you like to move? I'd like yourself? to smash the barrel. So okay. If you want to flip that barrel token over, to uh -huh. the smashed one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and am I successful? So the requirement is just one success. Yeah, one I success on three dice. Don't have my luck. Don't need it. <sighs> oh. oh my word. Like, don't need I, saw, it. I saw two blanks yeah. and was just like, no. And now that I've success. finally made a successful dodge. Oh. So we're going to see a assassin heroic come into play. Oh, here. fantastic. So I'm going to spend my uh, heroic ability, my once per spark, and my backstab ability. Once per spark, after making a successful dodge, the assassin may attack the enemy he dodged. The attack does not have stamina, but must have range. Oh, okay. So I've got range three on my soul arrow. Yeah. So I'm within range, and I don't need to spend stamina to do it, so I'm going to make my heavy attack again. So three black ah, dice. Okay. So 
in the core game, I the know. assassin is the only character that can make out of activation attacks right. with that heroic. So this is a super strong ability. Let's see it, Jimmy. Do it, do it, man. Oh, four damage and he dies. If he does, if he rolls a five, here. oh, I did, oh. I did one damage. And I have no <laughs> luck to reroll. One damage, <laughs> worth it for the Chip heroic. In. Chip in away. Four Chip damage away. and he dies. Chip in away. One. Yeah. <laughs> So he's got three health left. And he's already activated because that came after his activation, yes. so now it is round to me. It is. Awesome. Yep. Um, I mean, I think I've got to Estus Flask. Yep. I'm on seven. Three health remaining from seven, so I'm going to yep. go ahead and flip that over. Mm -hmm. and get these off of there. And then I'm just going to move in and give it a, a big poke. Give him a welly. Yeah. So we'll turn him around and have a little look. Um, and then there, like that. So I'm going to go for the four stamina attack. Yep. yep. So that'll be a black and a blue. And see, now I still I have to beat two. Yeah. Because yep. that's his armor. So it's still. I so mean, on doing average, you're going to do one damage here. Oh. Without assuming average dice. I do. No. Oh, you I, did not. You do have a low. Do you want to re-roll that? I don't want to waste it. Do I want to waste it? Do you know waste. what? Let's do it. Let's spend okay. my luck. Let's take this blue dice. Let's see if we can actually. You can't roll any worse. Thanks, Alec. <laughs> the dice is exploded underneath this cup. Hey, hey yeah, two you do damage. A damage. Oh, just one, sorry, yeah. yeah. So he now has two health left. Which I can't actually <laughs> finish, but... Yeah, you can. Oh, I can. It'd need an absolute god tier roll, yeah, yeah. but I could kill him. <laughs> just, just do it. So the aggro will be on the knight. Yeah. And you will get shoved off first. Uh, yep. Then he will move in, I and he will push you again. again. Uh, yep. Nicely lined up for me to not have to spend any stamina Perfect. to move over to him. And then you get hit for six. And then I get you, hit. You know how this works. I know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And you take yep. three. three more. I'm pretty consistent with the three blocking. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. And so, so it's me. It is pretty scary to think. Like I just asked this flask there to re resolve or get back all of my health and stamina and are ready. So I spent four stamina. How many? How many? Box did you have left when you used your essence? You've taken seven uh, damage, I've taken right? seven damage, yeah. So you now have the exact same amount that you had anyway. Oh my goodness. And that was my choice, to use the four stamina for the yeah. longsword attack. Yep. So I, I could have saved that um, stamina. And if it comes around to me again, I will get to take two away at least. That's yeah. the yeah. trade-off with stamina, isn't yeah. it? Yes, it fills your bar up, but you get it back so much easier than health. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, please, Alex. God so roll time. I'm going to move in for free. Yeah. I recover my one stamina that I had Love spent. It. I don't have to spend any stamina to do my attack because okay. the only difference is it has cleave. And I just need four. I need a five and a six on two dice. <laughs> Effectively, yeah. And I'll be fine. You got this. You got this. You've got your book, right? Oh, Whoa. oh. <laughs> that's hey, wrong. Yeah. You just, you just scratch that one. All of a sudden, the warrior got a bit berserk for a second. Not what he should have rolled. <laughs> just the two black dice. <laughs> Good job, Alex, mate. You know how you were saying. So there's no point in using my luck there because the highest that can rolls a two, two, and he's got two armor. Yeah, it's still. Um, good. Can I take the one where I had the wrong <laughs> dice, the dice in the cup, please? All the dice. Do you know what's weird? I like the idea that you were using my armor to attack him there. As well, well, the yeah. thing is, once I get my upgrade, that isn't a million miles away from what I'll be rolling. Wow. I get one black and two blue for my three stamina attack. We need to get you onto on that. that. Yeah. So. Fingers crossed, get that. But that's that's that. Oh man! So he uh, you. now he's going to shove me. It's yeah. Jamie to go next. Don't worry, guys. I'll, I've done everything. So, so I'm going to get pushed over here. <laughs> yep. And he's going to move in. So I'm just bringing him over towards yep. Jamie. Oh no! I want to take him away from you, don't I? Um, Are you I'll range attacking I'm, him? I'm, yeah, but I'll, I'll, right. my I'll go there. My stock as okay. well. We'll go for there. Um, and then I'm going to get hit for six. Yep. Let's see it. Oh, and I do get a blue on this one, which is <laughs> which is fun. Just the six. Just the six. I can't die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take three. Three. Oh man. Every, every. I don't know what it is about this specific game, but every single time you say something like, oh, I can't die, I'm just like, somehow it's going to happen. Yeah. Mathematical probability is going to go out the window and something crazy is going to happen. Uh, All right, Jamie. Jamie, over to you. So, right, so him off. I'm going to start off by bringing my ass stock in. Or just in case. Giving up your shield. Giving up my shield, just in case. Double weaponing. Just in case. I might, I might not go in. I might leave it to you guys. This went so well last time. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to spend four stamina. So I get that one back. Spend four. Okay. To make my soul arrow attack. Oh, here we go. Yes. Is that three? Like this, this is oh, no. I, before I do this, I, should, I need to move in, don't I? Assuming you yep. want to attack. So I might as well move in for my free yeah, one. So we'll get you. Because I, I can only make one instance of attack and one instance of move. I can't soul arrow. 
yeah. see how we go in and then next up. Gotcha, okay. So, Soul Arrow, I need to do two damage. This, this dice minus one, so completely average dice. We're really seeing though how important attacking armor or attacking resistance is. Yeah. That, that two armor has just been brutal. Yep. All of the damage, well, the vast majority of the damage has come from Jamie. So if we see a roll of three here, he's dead. Uh... I see. Ah! Ah, he's gone. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Yeah, I already did all the work in that one. So we get. <laughs> it's like a. I did nine. I did nine damage. Coming <laughs> true. Like, yeah. Okay, I cost us before, guys, but I learned from my mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. we get six souls from that. Okay. Um, I'll put my shield back on. Just gonna, just gonna, gonna just like play around oh, yeah, with yeah. this thing over here. Yeah, your your yeah. weapon is no use to us. I'm not gonna lie. I really do want a weapon upgrade, but I think that sounds so amazing for you that we should just make it happen. Yeah. So um, with those six, I unfortunately can't get all the way there. Oh. So two will get me my strength up there. I could use another two to get my faith there, and then I need um, four more to we use. We could it. do with buying our luck back. Ah. Before we go into the boss, Miss, myself especially, since yep. I rely heavily on dodge dice, yeah. and any more dodge is vital. How much does that cost? Just one just soul. One. So that would be our two gone. I wonder if it's worth considering just nipping back to do one of these, so I can get my your weapon, my big mace. He's, he's encouraging a grind. Huh? Yeah. He's encouraging a grind. Do you just, know what? Just one more room. Can what? I tempt you? Just one more room. <sighs> okay, then let's do it. Okay, just so, one more. So we spend these. Guys. Oh no! I want to stab at the boss. I want, I want to like, because if we stab at the boss and feel, everything comes back again. Yes. Oh man. I'll yield to the to the experience master. You're gonna yield. You'll yield. So we we'll do one more room. Okay. Yep. And, and then, then we'll boss time. Slog into the boss. So you both both brought your luck back yep. with yep. these two we've got here, mm-hmm. and we will blitz into this one. Who killed Jamie? Killed. So you're <laughs> gonna be the first. So okay. I will take the aggro in yep. this one. We'll go super quick. Jamie, if you want to load that up. So who's yep. gonna? Um, well, who's better? I'm happy to win first, obviously, but I'm gonna have the aggro. Yeah. Oh, I'll tank uh, it. Yeah. Yep. I'll tank it. I'm big and brave. Um, and if we do what we did last time, where we load well, up. By doing this, we also get the gravestone, so we can see some more moves. Ah, because because they respawned, if we, we don't clear the room, then we wouldn't yep. have got the advantage of the gravestone. Yep. yep. So now we okay. will have two, assuming we do this. Yeah. We died to it last time. Oh, don't. You say we. Let's let's uh, <laughs> let's try and clear this room so fast. Let's see how quickly we can just. Yep. So this guy will move no, to there. Sh- he will do yeah. nothing. This guy will move away. He will shoot at me. Okay. I get one of these. Don't put it over here. Yeah. Bonk. Okay. So I will take one. Nice and easy. Easy busy. The other one will shoot me. He won't move away. But he will move away over to yeah, here. Yeah. Should... Oh. oh. I take three on the roll of blank. I'm fine with it. These are all going to be dead soon. Okay. And that is over to you, as. So, yeah, I'll just hop in. Um, actually, a let's bop, go. Bop on the head. Yeah, I'm just going to hop into this guy. Well, no, actually, let's go up to the crossbow guy. So, we know one, two, three. So, that's going to cost me two stamina. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I'll go ahead and spend four stamina for my big attack. Ooh. It's okay. Big bop. I have fear. Brave. I have fear. Nah, he's fine. And so, I do have aggro right now. Yep. yep. Um, we should be. We should be okay with this. Um, so uh, that'll do the one damage yep. needed. Super dead. Get him out of there. And then this guy will move in, and yep. he will hit me. Okay. And I need two of those. Yep. Get the right dice in there. And I will take two. Yep. Oof. And then the crossbow hollow Could will move shoot me away from blue you. Dice. I have a blue dice for my resistance. <laughs> So that's in the cup ready Thank for you. you. So I got two. So you will take one damage. Easy peasy. Mm-hmm. And then it comes to me, and I am going to. Ooh. I'll kill that guy. Yeah. That's standing. You kill that guy standing there, and then I'll just soul out oh, of I'm gonna this is the safest way. I will move over here, which okay. will cost me one. Alright. Then I'm gonna hit that guy with oh, two yes. black dice if okay. you can. Pass me two black dice. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm hoarding them all the over pile. here. Yeah. Okay, one more. Oh, oh my goodness, yeah. Thank you. And he dies. Nice. Yep. On a roll of two. Oh, compared to Sentinels, these guys are just oh, like... It feels like a walking yeah. heart, doesn't it? <laughs> and then I and then dodge his attack. And then Jamie will get hit by this guy. Don't so, say that. So He's going to dodge it skillfully. Three, three dice. dice. 
fine. Yeah, I yeah. definitely couldn't do the assassin. The whole all or nothing. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Easy. Easy peasy. I'll Good. stay where I am, though. So you don't have to move with the yeah. dodge. You can stay put where you are. I'm going to swap out my S-Doc just in case. And you're going to blast him in the face blast with some souls. <laughs> Soul arrow. So spend four to do you it. And get one more black dice. Oh, yep. my goodness. Thank you. There you go. Looking for a total of two. I'm and he is him. very, very dead. So there's our six souls. That's that room done. Awesome. So, so the, room, the room that took us out, we went and got a couple more upgrades, went and took out a tier two room, went, went back. back Minute and a half, we just blitz yeah. it yep. through. Love it. So I will use those four, so I can now have my super shiny oh, weapon. Oh yes! Yeah. Yay! Super shiny weapon. And what does that leave us with? Two then? That will leave us with two. We don't need any more luck. We so need if we do, do, some, do we? No, no. Two flips. Yeah. yeah let's see what. Here we go. It will be a halberd. Oh. I pass the yes, to you. Yes, please. Let me have a, a nosy at that. And the other one will be the hornet ring. Oh, oh, Bagsy. Which requires 30 dexterity, and it is a armor upgrade. Let's have a little look so at that. I, have two I think that's actually the armor upgrade that... I was describing in one yeah. of the unboxing videos. Oh my word, so the Hornet Ring. So that's adding a legendary dice, but yep. it's minus two? Yes. So on the average on the dice, it works out at plus nothing. Okay. But... If you're lucky. That dice does have a four in it, so it could be two extra damage. Ah, oh, wow. And I think I, Jamie's I, I buying do, that up. I can just equip that right now. Because he already has the stats to equip it. Fantastic. Merry, Merry Christmas to you, Jamie. I know, I've had the, the run <laughs> of it this game. So that is oh yes, those all white, and are we, are we bossing it? Yeah, well, we, yeah, we now have two rooms cleared which have graves in them. We yep. do. Um, so that's going to help us discern the attack pattern of the boss. We're going to learn two moves in his deck. Awesome. Let's do it. Okay, let's right. get round there. So who who finished them off in that room? Uh, Jamie, Jamie killed. did. Yep. So you're going first. So I can... Yeah, you can tank it. I can tank it. You big brave boy over there. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You can step up. I will, I will, claim, I will claim first in the room. Do we just remove the fog wall? Yep, you can just pop that out of the way. So we're just basically oh, clearing the fog. So... You've decided that you're going to take the aggro, so you don't yeah. need to step in yet. Okay. If you pass me the deck of cards over there, ah, so you this can is... hold on to the data one. So this is, are we, these are all... Behaviour cards. Right. All unique to the gargoyle. Yep. Okay. So whereas the enemies we've been fighting, they've got that use the same behaviour every yeah. time they activate, these guys have individual ones for each time they attack. Okay. So in the to the left hand side of his deck card, yep. you can see the four yep. in the middle of the card. That's how many cards he has in his mm -hmm. starting standard mm -hmm. behavior deck. Right. So I'm going to take out four standard cards. Okay. There's five in total, so right. there is a bit of variation you can get in okay. there, but we won't need the fifth. So the order will be different every time, and then there's also one removed that's not going to come up initially. Yes. Okay. Gives it huge replayability. Yeah, because the, the deck is different every time, different order, and so even though you might learn all the cards in its deck, you don't know which four you're going to get Absolutely. initially. Yep. Um, and the gargoyle also has his own because he has twenty six health. It'd be too hard to track that on yeah, token. So he has his own little, um, own little, dial. yeah, exactly, little so spinning dial. These that we're are use to keep track. These are his five cards. Okay. I'm going to randomly pick four of them. We'll go for that okay. one in the middle. And yeah, you're not looking. You're just that choosing one at those completely end. at random. Okay. Um. And then, if I, if you want to randomly choose two of those, because we've got two gravestones, so we get oh. to look at two of them. Randomly. Ah, so we're going to get to see now. Do they stay in the same order, or we just no? no. Oh, so we get so to we see, get to what, see to... what they do. Okay, but we don't get to see so when they're I'll going. So take two, coming. and we'll have a we'll have a quick look. Um, so halberd thrust is the first one. Oh. So that would move. Ah, <laughs> good noise, Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> oh, he will move one towards the aggro, specifically yeah. the aggro. It will push anybody that's in the way with that yeah. movement. And then he will make a range one, six damage attack wow. against just the aggro. Okay. And you'll see underneath him, he's got that little sort of cross pie. Yeah, pie a little bit of axis almost. Yeah, yeah. One of those is shaded in red. Yeah. The other three are black. Okay. Black means that it's a, like a, almost like a neutral point on okay. there. He doesn't have any interaction. Sure. The red part shows he's weak. Okay. So if oh. we were to attack him there after he's done that behaviour, yeah. we get an additional black dice against him because nice. he's weak there. So it's to show like he's lunged forward with his halberd. In his right hand, he's opened up a weakness on the right spot of the, of the, of the monster. Yes. That's awesome. Okay, so that's, that's the first one. That's the first one. one. 
And then the second one, so again, this is the, what the gravestone's letting us see. And that one is a move forward one towards the target, which also pushes. And then in the left hand side of the attack icon, we get to see a, a new symbol, which is so that means the area. So is that this be one just down there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then where you can see where it's green on that thing, oh. which, that is where he hits. So he Ooh. will hit any nodes within range one on that green area, and then he's going to be weak behind. That one also has a dodge value of two, so it's quite hard scary to get away. That, so that's a teal sweep. So yeah, it's going to be harder to dodge because it's going to be an arcing. Yeah. Of, that's very, very awesome. And I think I didn't really notice this when first looking at the models, that they do have on their bases little arcs They've to represent the, arcs um, yeah, the, the facing of, of the models. Okay. So we know those two are in there. Yeah. They'll get shuffled in. To the four and top to the other yeah, four. Okay. And once they start coming out then, they stay in that order yeah, So they at don't least get for a while. shuffled until the other number on his data card is his heat up number, the right. 12. Okay. So when he hits 12 health, we add one of the three heat up cards he had, which are a bit scarier. <laughs> okay. And then we have to shuffle the deck. So there'll be five cards in there now and the deck gets So it's shuffled. almost like a second phase, extra yeah. attack, yeah. reorganization. Okay, awesome. Yes, and I'm, oh, I'm down for this. So I will take control of these cards, okay. but I will pass any new ones over cool. to you to yeah, show off as yeah. we get going. So he will go first. Do we need we to... We have to choose where we're going. Yeah, I mean... I'm hiding in corners. And I'm... I'm, 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 I'm hiding in this corner. Holding my shield in the middle. This is my corner. Get okay, I'll hide in the other corner to <laughs> Jamie. So, Standing with Jamie is never a good idea. No. So he will go, <laughs> and he is doing the halberd thrust. Okay. So it's the one we saw, which is one towards the aggro, so we move so. straight to that node in the centre, mm -hmm. and then he will attack you for six damage. And Physical. He and he has the range for that? Yep, yeah. it's range one. Oh, like, what? I thought he, I might get a turn. The, the, <laughs> the sentinel gave him some lessons. Wow. So like, this is how you do it. So I'll roll my defense dice then. So it's so a you are, black and a blue. Yeah. Can I have a blue dice, please? You can indeed. Okay, we'll see how much of this I absorb. Wow. Whoa. You take one. Wow. That's nicely done. <laughs> if there ever was a time. If there was ever a time, <laughs> nope. that was it. <laughs> What's quite scary about this is that we've both used our Estus flask. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't know, I've used nothing. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> sure. I'm completely good. Um, well, I've got my heroic and I've got my luck, but I don't have my Estus. Yep. So still feel. You still have? I just have my luck. Just your luck. Okay. Yeah. So my turn to activate. So yep, you were the first player, so we we decided that you're probably tanky enough to be able to take it. Yeah. Two in a row. And he has two armor. Now yep. it means my zero stamina attack is going to be rolling a blue dice, a blue. And if you're in the weak arc, also yeah. a black. Ah, so he what's is his... weak? On the left hand side. So for me, I could do a f on this side. Sorry. Yeah. So, uh, in, in terms of a range zero mm -hmm. attack. Okay. When you're making range zero attacks, mm -hmm. you have to be standing. Gotcha. On his, so you are standing on the same node yeah. as him and in an arc. Okay. You can walk around the arc. So from from where you started, yeah. you could do your free walk into his front arc, okay. and then spend one stamina to move around. Ah, to his so it's arc. almost like adding extra Mini nodes. Moves. Yeah, yeah so perfect. How I how I explain it is that he, he basically is four nodes on himself. Yeah. And you move around him. Yeah. yeah. As you would normally. Fantastic. So yeah, absolutely. I'll free node and then spend one stamina. Yeah. Because that, yeah. what I was thinking is I didn't really want to spend four stamina for an extra black dice. Yep. Whereas spending one stamina is giving me extra black because of that Weak herald thrust. Oh, sorry, a halberd thrust. That's awesome. And what's interesting is you'll be ending an activation on him, so you get that damage you just took Ooh, because of your super shiny My Lothric armor. Knight armor. Yes. Let's do some damage. So he's got two armor. He has dice two minus armor. two. Oh, you did oh two yeah. damage. Nice. Look, guys, I don't want to say I'm setting an example here, but I'm setting an example. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, but I'm going to. So he's going to go from 26 to 24. Yep. Long way yeah. to go. <laughs> no, I mean, and he will then. So you end your activation. Oh, sorry, yeah. So you get one health back because yes. of your item. And then he will activate again. Okay, so we know Albert Thrust first. Yeah. Tail sweep. So it's the other okay. one we saw. So he will move forward one towards you. So he will first mm -hmm. push you off okay. because it does have a push. So in terms of pushing on bosses, yeah. the rules are slightly different and mm -hmm. a little bit more complicated okay. than a regular push. Regular push on the other guys, they don't have arcs. It's yeah. just any adjacent node. For any boss, you can only be pushed to a node within the arc you are standing in. So in this case, would it be one of these three? One of those three, three. Correct. exactly yeah. correct. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, the, the, the lines in the model makes it quite intuitive. That's, that's yeah. really nice. So yeah. I'll just go to here. Go to that one. He will then turn around and face you. <laughs> he you then moves forward one. Uh, into my node. Into you. Oh, no. 
So you're now up against a wall. When you're up against a wall, obviously you can't be moved within an okay, arc. Yep. So you can go onto any adjacent along the wall. So you can gotcha. come and stand with me, yep. or you can go and stand on the other side. But now you want to be taking into consideration where he hits. Yeah, well, he hits the front arc <gasps> and the left arc. So if you jump oh. onto me, he just misses us entirely. Now the other also oh, okay. No, he's gonna is he gonna miss you? He's anyway? gonna miss both. If yeah. you come on to stand with me, he'll miss us both. As a question for you though, I noticed that his weakness is on the back. Yep. If I went to this side, would he turn to face me? Nope. No. So ah. they do not turn to face on attacks. They ah. only turn to face on movement. Gotcha. So we can just. Avoid his oh, attack fantastic. entirely. Um, I think I'll do that you then, please, that? Alex. Yeah, <laughs> I'll dodge to the left, get out of that front arc. So then he makes his big swing across, oh. misses us both, and then it comes to my activation. Okay, and I'm going to go in and put some hurt on him. Awesome. And you, his back arc is currently a weak so if you wanted if to. If you want to move me one to the node, so I'll just get back in so people can see because we're getting oh it's getting dirty now, you're getting close. And so I am on that node. Yep. I am then going to spend my heroic. My heroic ability gives me one free move okay. and one free attack at range zero. That free attack gains node. So this would turn any attack that isn't a gotcha. cleave into a cleave. Nice. So if you want to move me into his back arc now yeah. at range zero, so butting up against him, and then I get to choose any attack I want on my card Ooh. for free. Oh. So my attack will be, if you could please pass me Two black dice because I'm in the weak arc. Two black dice. And I get two blue dice. Oh, yes. Minus two. And this is at minus two. That's from his armor. Yeah. Blank, Not blank. so bad when you look at the efficiency of yeah. no stamina. Yes, do You're it. Calling it blank, blank, one, one. Don't stop it. <laughs> stop it, Jimmy. We're going to fall out. <laughs> big, oh, big, oh, big, oh, big, oh, 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 oh my word. So minus two, so you can just get one of those twos out of there. Leaves us with I five. five damage. So you got some Very 24. Nice, to 19. I did something I learned from the sentinel. I was like, okay, I'm watching, I'm learning, I'm <laughs> seeing how I do this. Okay, my turn. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've so the two attacks we've seen were the two attacks we were able to bring so just by chance. New. So this is something let's so see it. As they come out, I'll pass them over to you so the people watching can see uh. what's going on. So we have electric breath. Oh. So Gee, he is going to turn around and face me. This is terrible. So that his, <laughs> I'm in his front arc. Okay. And then he's going to blast me with four magic damage. There's anyone in his front arc. But it's only range one. Oh, so thank goodness. It's only me. So Jimmy, Jimmy up in the corner here he's is fine. absolutely... The assassin's fine. And you're in the, well, now right arc of his, so you're fine. Yeah. Unfortunately for Jamie, he is weak in the left arc after this. So okay. he's kind of weak on the side so that quite a way away. Here? Oh, or the, his... Yeah, so... Whoop, that, that's not it. Yeah. <laughs> the side furthest away from Jamie. <laughs> so I'll pass you that, and it's a dodge value of two. So I'll pass you that so the guys can see so what I've just described. Dodge two still scares me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and so you're rolling three dice. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to look at this, I'm trying to fit the card in around the wingspan of the gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see there the movement zero with the target. Yep. So that just means he turns around to face whoever Lovely. the target is. And then blast me for four magic damage. Fantastic. So right, that's, now well, two roll. Fantastic. <laughs> I've got two black dice on magic now. Okay. My uh, my new mace has actually given me a bit of a boost in the magic nice. defense department. Okay. Yep. So if you could pass me two black oh dice, and I could take nothing here. It's mathematically possible. Oh, I, I need to take you nothing could here. Take four. Wait, Alex, or I could it. take four. Stop it. Or anything in between. <laughs> I take one. That's okay. Good. That's good. So I'm tempted three. to luck it just to no. show off. But no. I'm going to. So I take one damage there. Oh, okay. Just the one. Yeah. Um, and it, that has no pushes or anything on it. So I'm okay. still standing there. And we go over to Jamie. Okay. What are you going to do? Right. Um, I am going to make my way downtown. Downtown. Yeah. <laughs> make my way downtown. Uh, free one. Spend one. Spend two to get into the weak arc. So obviously he's got a ranged weapon, yep. so he can be in the arc because that line for the arc extends. So he's like basically infinitely. come all the way around. Yep. And now perfect sneaky assassin. Love it. Uh, so I'm in the weak arc, so I mm -hmm. get a free black dice. Okay. Now I could spend four, so I can ro so I could roll four black dice, but I'm not going to do that. Just I'm going to make my free, free zero cost attack, which is two black dice. Plus the one for being in the weak yeah, spots. Plus an orange. Plus a sneaky orange dice. So that's from the Hornet ring? Yeah. 
So this is going to be at minus four because three? he has he, two. He, uh, oh, sorry. Yes, he's only one. Resist. So it's going to be minus three. So okay. he's got the one um, resist, yep. but he's got the minus two from the Hornet ring. But the orange dice could be... Could be a big spike. Oh, this okay. could be a lot That's of damage here. Oh, okay. Oh, so, so we minus three will give us two damage in total. Yeah. Oh, I think those hadn't been blanks. Yeah, if they had been ones, that could have been a really big hit. Yeah. So down by two? Yep. From 19 to 17. Very good. Okay. Slowly but surely. Keep an orange. Is that me. you done, Jamie? Uh, yes, that is me done. Keep him, uh, in case I didn't say it earlier on, I put Just my shield back on. Holding on to that shield. <laughs> Playing it safe. So his final attack is a tail whip. Okay. So unlike all the other attacks that we've seen so far where he moves and then attacks, mm -hmm. this one he attacks then moves. Right. So it is four physical damage mm -hmm. in the back, two in oh, the... You'd almost think we had played this out. You'd almost yeah. think we had strategized yeah. and turned them right. This is completely accidental. <laughs> so let's have a quick look at so that. So if I see. pass that yep. card over to you, he is not going to hit anyone with that attack Hooray. and is there any way to sort of denote or how do you know that he's attacking first is it because it's on it's that because side? the attack so all yeah. patterns are resolved left right lovely yeah so that's four damage in the back and is that the, the right, right arc yeah so none of us are standing in those Fantastic. arcs or not he's not close enough because he is in the right arc minute, but, but he's only range one yeah range one. lovely so another dodge value of two but he would then move back away from specifically the aggro. Okay. So he is going to push me off first because yeah. it does have a push, and I'll just go straight back into sure. the middle because yeah. the middle is safe. And then he will turn to face Jamie yeah. because Jamie is the aggro. And then he would try to move back. Mm -hmm. There's a wall in the way, okay. so he doesn't move. He doesn't. He doesn't slide. He just stays no, where he stays, stays okay. where he is. And then that passes over to you. Oh, no, so his weak spot from that tail is actually the in the front. front. So he's actually just turned his weak point away from Yeah, him. so that's a bit awkward for me to try and get right there. So at the start of your activation, you recover that one stamina. Oh yes, lovely. So I, I, I kind of... So I'm trying to work out now, this is I'm getting a bit into the kind of math behind it. So yeah. four stamina would give me a black and a blue. Or I could go three, one, one, two, one, three. So it costs you two because oh, your first one's free. One, of course. The free one, yeah. So I think, do you know what, I'm just going to do it. But the thing I'm worried about is those four attacks that we've just seen come up of his then, are they going to be stay in that order? Yes, so we yeah. know what the first one is. So is it going to, if I move in front of him, is it going to be very bad for us? Uh, so it's the first one, if my memory is correct, mm -hmm. is the one where he just booked it straight up straight up, and yeah. hit you for Specifically six. Specifically yeah. targets the aggro yeah. for so six damage. Only I'm, glad, I'm glad some of us are remembering because I had forgotten already. <laughs> I was too excited by the, the, the breath. Um, so yeah, so I'm not going to put us at risk by moving in front of him. No, 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 you should be good. Okay, so let's go ahead and do my free one. And then I'll pay a stamina, yep. and then a stamina to move in in front of him. Yeah. So I'll do that. And then so you're going for your free attack. Going for my free, so zero stamina attack is a blue, and then because I'm in the weak arc from the attack, I'll have a black. black. Yep. And let's see what we can do. Definitely not putting out a ton of damage, but if we can get a little bit, hey. So you deal one damage, one. which is chip away. Better than nothing. Absolutely. As a, as a knight, it's, it's not my profession to to deal damage, and I'm okay with that. So Spartans, done this 16. what is your profession? <laughs> Blocking. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you now just simply flip over the deck of his attacks? So that would be this deck. Yep. As you say, just flip straight cool. over, and then we flip the top card. Yep. We know what it is. So he is already facing you. Yep. He will push you away, and you've got the three nodes. So you've got the same node as me. Yep. You've got the one just behind where you're standing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So any of those three. So yeah, you've got the one I think I'll turn him away. From you guys? Is always, is where's the weak be, spot? His, yeah, be his, on his weak spot left. is going to be, yes. So yeah, so actually turning him in here would be probably yeah. beneficial, yeah. Yeah, so I'll go in here, right into the back corner, hiding behind so him. So then he will turn to face you, yeah. he will move in, into and he my will node? shove you against the yeah. wall. Oh my word, okay. So he'll keep his facing, yeah. facing directly towards you, yeah. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. And then you can either go behind him. <laughs> I'm in here, guys. I'm right behind, <laughs> right in there. I know, I know you're struggling to see it, but I'm right in there. So you can either go behind him okay. or onto the same node as Jamie. You can't avoid getting hit by this because oh, it's yeah. a targeted attack. Gotcha. It's not a node-based attack. So I have to, I have to move to... You one can either of... go over to Jamie yeah. or the node behind the gargoyle, oh, so because you're up against the wall. I'll go now, if to... I remember correctly, yeah. the next one's his tail whip that hits behind him. Oh no, is the breath comes? Oh no, tail whip and then the breath? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. so I'll come to you. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it hits the left as well. I think it was the right and the rear. So I think so, we should and is he be gonna safe there. Turn? Nope. Nope, nope. stay the gap. 
but then he will smack you with his halberd. Okay, no, that's all right. So that's so six physical damage. I've got my black and my blue. Who was proud, brave Sir Knight. This is huh? what you do. This is what I yeah, do. There you go. So you just take the two. I'm not going to lie. If I look back at, the, at this whole game, I think I've blocked a ton of damage. Yeah, you, yeah, you did. You have. <laughs> You're doing a good I'm job. Ha I'm happy. So far, you've blocked nine. <laughs> yeah, you've taken 12 damage in just two attacks and managed happy to mitigate that. that down significantly. So, yeah. My activation's over. He's done. Past me. this round. No, yes, oh no, past it. I go to you. So that one comes on to me. Yep. Mm -hmm. So now I'm unfortunately going to have to start spending some stamina. Unfortunately. Oh, oh didums. <laughs> so if you want to move me forward diagonally onto that one, that's yep. my free one, and yep. then I'm going to spend one to move in to that left hand side. Yep. And then I'm going to pay three to do the same attack I did last time. Yeah. So. So this is because you used your heroic last time. Yep, so yeah. that one was free last time. So what do you time. need? I need another blue and two blacks. Another blue and two blacks. I must admit, I, I don't know if I've said this already, but I love the simplicity of the dice. Yep. Like you're not, I love custom dice in, in all games, but just having the swords representing your attacking and your blocking, and you're not having to roll for the damage of the monster, it just all flows nice and smoothly, which is great. Yep. So let's see some... Minus two. Big Jamie, numbers. do you want to do a call ahead of time as to what this is going to be? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's yeah. good. So it's another three damage. Awesome. Away. So he's gone from 16 to 13. So he's oh, one the, away the from perfect. his heater. It's about as good as we could hope for. Because obviously, getting their health down is great and yep. all. But I'm only doing and spending the stamina and doing the attacks I'm doing because I know what's next and yep. I know when I'm safe and when I'm not. Gotcha. As soon as he heats up, I have no idea what's coming. I don't know if I'm safe yep. or not. So Dex 13 yeah, is, is like the perfect, <laughs> just one before he heats up. Yeah. And as soon as he hits 12, the deck gets added to and shuffled immediately? Shuffled up, okay, yeah. wow. So I, I'm i going to risk it. I'm not going to mess this. Yeah, I think you'll be fine for this one. Uh, so his activation. Yeah. Let's see it. So it's the tail sweep. Okay. So he's going to push me off first. Yeah. yeah. Where are you going to go? I'm just oh. having a look at this card to work out where's the <laughs> gamiest place I can go. <laughs> um, so I will go onto the node that I entered his one from. So from that here? One, that one there. He will turn around to face me. Mm -hmm. He will move in towards me. Okay. And will you get pushed or And stay? I will get pushed. You've and I will go just to that one there. This one? Yep. And then he will move in. And then he will hit. He's going to hit me. Okay. But he I got, will I got, not I got, hit. I got this completely He will wrong. not hit either of you two. No. Oh, thank you. This man. guy. Okay. Such a hero. This this guy right here. Don't, don't say die. that. Don't say that until what I'm... What a hero. Don't say that until I've survived. <laughs> <laughs> so it's only four damage. I say... You, it's only four. stop it? It's fine. What do you got the block? A blue and a black? A blue and a black. Okay. So you, the maximum you can take is three. Yep. So I can't die to this attack. <laughs> <laughs> I take nothing. Oh. What a hero. Wow. If it wouldn't so the... mess with the mic, I would stand up and bow right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so I'm fine. I've been taking so I've been taking damage lessons from you, tanking lessons from you, yeah, and I'm now like it. the perfect hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need you guys anymore. We'll just leave. We can just handle yeah, yeah, this. He's got this. So Jamie, your activation. Right, you recover so your two. I recover two stamina. Uh this is gonna take him down below. This is gonna heat him up. So oh. we're now in the danger zone. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to put my S-Stock in. That's going to be a finishing move. So okay. I'd like to move, if you could move me out, yeah. uh, forwards one into the corner. Because yeah. he is weak in the back. Weak in so the he's now in the weak spot. <sighs> hmm. I love how you've said, because this is going to heat him up, and you're using entirely black dice. <laughs> like you're guaranteed to do damage. <laughs> Get out. I'm not using entirely black dice. <laughs> Sorry. Also Get an orange dice. Minus orange two. Dice. I'm going to use four stamina. Yep. Ooh. To absolutely blast him. So was this four black, four and black dice? Please. And it would be a total of minus three. So one, uh, one for resistance because this is a, a magic attack. Yep. And then two, two for the hornet, hornet, hornet ring because it's going to be a bit of luck. Okay. Yep. Let's see what we get. That? So many dice. That's so many dice. <laughs> that cover a bit heavy for you. Yeah. Okay. So it's at minus three. Yeah. So take that away. It's four damage. Nice. That's a good hit. When you when you take them down to the heat up, yeah. you want to get as many below with that attack that heats yeah. them up as possible. It's nothing worse than getting them on to twelve. Oh, it's like we, okay, so now he's got a of lot of activations yeah, of yeah. us having no idea what's going on. 
Um, so Gargoyle's a nine now. He is, so um, he will heat up. Okay, how does that so work? So I'm going to do what I usually do whenever I've done sort of any showing off of the game. Okay. Which is make sure it's your fault if we die. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the three Hold heat on. up cards. Are we worried we're about to die? <laughs> if you want to, don't look at it and don't show anything to the camera, but take one of those three cards. I want this one. And then I'll take that back. So the that, worst magician ever here. <laughs> that gets added. Yeah, watch your watch your playthrough disappear. <laughs> <laughs> watch your life disappear. So there are now five cards there. The four we've yep. seen before and one heat up card. Okay. And if you could shuffle those for me. <laughs> he's vicious. <laughs> oh man. Was it Jamie's tw- happy because he's like shuffles? Jamie's Jamie's not getting any of the blame for being the one that heats oh, him up. It's all man. Az's fault for shuffling. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The aggro <laughs> is on Jamie in the corner. Yep. And it is the gargoyle's activation. Yep. Let's see how friendly you've been to this. <laughs> so it's the tail whip that he started oh. with. So the tail whip is that's unfortunately really... going to hit the knight and the assassin. Oh, dodge off. There we go. So that's, that's fine. Oh, I thought that's that... fine. You thought it was the I same one that the came back. out last I thought it was time. just the back. It's not so that, the dodge is two. I have to dodge. I have no block. <laughs> Literally but it's, only, zero. it's only four damage, right? It, it is, but I spend a stamina. So yeah. I can't die. You can't die. I can't die. Neither can I. It's grand. That's yeah, fine. Alex. Neither of you two have got Estuses, right? Nope. Cool. Good stuff. So, he will attack first. Okay. Yep. So I've got my three dodge dice in there. So Jamie's going I, for a dodge. And you need two. Two success. We need but this to be successful, it's easy. ideally. I'll spend my so luck token. He's going to use his luck. <laughs> so in case I just whiz through there, I got yeah. one success. Two blanks. Gonna spend my luck token to re-roll yeah. one of them. Oh no, oh no, come on. He doesn't Jimmy. die if he fails this, but he's not in good shape. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Oh, oh my goodness. Boy. So you take four Did damage. Did we bring the ones with like all blanks on? <laughs> no. No? No. <laughs> Alright. This is where everyone goes around in a circle and rolls the same dice and goes, look, they're fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you've now got four damage taken, five stamina used, so one of your endurance bar. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> We maybe have a different uh, <laughs> I'm alive. interpretation of, the word of what fine means. I am completely spent. And then as you get hit by the same attack. Yeah, so I'm doing a black and a blue, my and normal. Just the four, four physical minus. damage. So you will take two. I'm tempted to throw in my stand fast here. Yep. Yeah, yep. because I have no Estus, as we pointed out. So I'm going to go ahead and use my heroic ability yep. Yep. to add a blue dice to this. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah? Sure. So, so take, take one. 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 That's, I, I think that's, a, that's still a decent use yeah. for the stand fast. Just okay. reducing that damage so that's for sure. flipped over. So the gargoyle will now turn to face the aggro, which is Jamie. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he will spin around, and then he will back up one, which will push me. Oh. So he will come backwards, shove me out the way, and I will go over to there. Wow. That's that activation over. He's weak in the front. Weak. Oh, fantastic. And as over to you. There's no way I'm doing nine damage. No, there is not. There's just no way that's happening. But you do recover Um, your two stamina. Awesome. And don't forget, if you end your activation on him, you get one health back. Which is going to happen. Now, can I move directly in one move? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't have to go to this. No, that's essentially considered a GS. Because you are in both arcs there. You can choose from there if you want to go into the left or the front. Like, it's just terrifying. The fact that, like, his head and body is my entire person. (laughs) Like, it's just... um, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, man, I really... I I don't think I want to risk the four stamina. Not yet. No. So I'm going to go ahead and have one blue, and I'll take the black from his weakness. Had he only got, yeah. say, two health... Worth a chance. It would yeah. be probably be worth risking it. Let's see what we're we just get. looking for a bit more chip damage. Nice. <gasps> one. Yep. It's another one. Chip, oh my chip goodness. Away. Chip, chip, chip. So he's down to eight health now. Yep. And you recover one health at the end of your activation. For being on his node because of Malofic armor. Yeah, yep. baby. So the aggro token passes to you. Okay, what have we got? Let's see if breath. you killed Don't us breath. this time. Don't be breathed. <laughs> Halberd thrust. Oh, I'm alive. So Jamie won't die <laughs> See, here. I, 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 currently, I cannot dodge and I cannot block. So any damage that any th- just... anything that hits Jamie, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this is just targeting me. Take this yeah. into consideration with where you're wheeling the boss to. Okay. But he will push you off first, and you've yep. got any of those three nodes in that diagonal line. So yep. Get away three. from no. me. Oh, that will be yeah, any of those three. Here. Yeah, Jamie, you okay? Yeah, yeah. You okay with sure. that? So then he will turn to face you, yeah. and then he will move in on you. Uh, yeah. 
and then you get pushed onto one of those along the wall, and then you're going to get hit for six damage. Go that way. Go that way. Okay. So go away from me. <laughs> and he will keep we'll us just keep facing that way, but he will hit you for six damage. It's okay. It's all good. This is the third time you've taken this. We're getting lucky that this keeps going to our tank. Yeah. Because this is like the nasty one. Oh. So we said that. I you no. I was tempted to use my reroll, but it's only going to really mitigate one or two more damage. So, so you are currently taking, taking five. You will be taking five. Well, so what's the black dice got on it? It's got it's one. It's got one blank. blank. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to use my luck. Yep. I'm going to reroll this one. Okay. Yep. It, 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 on. Now it literally can only get better or worse. Or equal. Okay. Equal. <laughs> 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 I'm, 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 can't be any worse. That's what I'm going to say. So six damage. I absorb four. Or so I absorb two. Sorry. So I take yep. four. Yeah. That's right. Um, so one, two, three, four. So I'm left with four of my endurance bar. Yeah, um, and I'm up. Oh man, this is grim. The big boy, the big swinger. Oh, <laughs> coming in hot. <laughs> eight health left. He's got eight health left. Yeah, you can do eight. Can I? Uh, can three, I six, eight, eight, ten, minus two. Perfect roll. If I get a perfect roll, I could kill him. Just do that. So I'm going to move one to this this one here. Yep. I'll spend one to move in on his back. And then one Whoops. to move round to his left. Where do you, he do is you want to weak. bring him? Is that definitely what you want to do? Because if he turns to face, then I might get accidentally killed. But this is the only way I can maybe kill him. No, <laughs> no, I'd rather survive and get it round to Jimmy's so turn. Stay facing backwards. Oh, but it might just hit me and kill me anyway. And this might be our like one chance. No, you two. <laughs> no, no. All right, then. I'll stay there. I'm I never going to Vegas with you two guys. <laughs> I would not take advantage of the weak All spot. All on red. I <laughs> would lose <laughs> unless it lands on black. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's also a green. And at what? <laughs> Wait, what? There's a green, a green zero and a roulette table. Yeah, so I was not taught properly. <laughs> so I'm going to spend my three stamina um, just to make my sure. heavy attack. Yep. So I don't get my extra black. But so are you, if he turns and hits you, are you likely going to die? I've still got my Estus. He can oh, I've, I've been, up been, Yeah, then, then, then yeah, try and lead him away. I've been That's... playing safe. You absolute pair of crazy men <laughs> running around. Here's me just like, oh, there's just a casual five damage for him. There's a bit more for him. And you're like, oh. One damage. All Look, my dead. shield is now like a U bend. It's just <laughs> yeah. internally. I'm like, guys, kill him, please. <laughs> so if you want to pass me one black dice yeah. and two blue dice, and two blue. If I get a big roll here, I could soften him up so Jamie can do nothing. I, oh. Hey, <laughs> hey, I have my S dunk and I have my soul armor. So his armor's two. We are. Oh, it's good. Oh, that's another four. I've just halved what he had. Four health left. So if I can survive. I might have a chance. I'm going to use my Estus. Okay. Yep. So I get a full wipe. Okay, and we have three of the Gargoyles attack cards to come up, two of which we know, one of which is the heat up card that we have yet to see. Oh god. <laughs> Do you forget about that? Yeah. Entirely. Let me remind you. Oh no. No, so Jamie nice. uh, gets hit. I die. Oh no. Sad. We'll, we'll go through it, go through the motions. Sad so, panda. So. so he would. Oh no, he, you're fine. Oh. He's going to turn around and face me. Oh yes. You're fine. Jamie isn't dead. <sighs> Jamie got. Jamie read it. This before. is a roller coaster of an ocean. <laughs> <laughs> so he would push me forward. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting, so getting overexcited. Push here. you. So shove me back. I'll go into yep. the middle. Then he will turn around to face me. Yeah. He will move one towards me okay. and push me again. And I'm going to come this way. Do, do, do. Where's his weak spot? Oh, in the bottom. And then, in the pot. then he is going to mean? attack. <laughs> sorry. We made it this far. I know. <laughs> he is then going to attack. Just the front and the left. Uh, and as soon as we go, I am in that arc, but I'm out, I'm far yeah, enough away. Range one. Yeah. yeah, correct. So MVP over here. I can't take that straight. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm I'm completely clear. I can't die. <laughs> <laughs> I take one damage. <laughs> My favourite thing Good is job. that when you open this box, the black cheat just says you died. Yeah. And the amount of times we've said I can't die is just. Yep, it's mega uncomfortable. Right, Jamie, you recover two. I recover two. I'm going to switch my... Uh, I, I, so unlikely to survive anything. I'm going to swap my air stock in. So you're, what you're basically saying is you're going to do four damage to him or... Oh, die. You die. I kill him or bust. Uh, I'm going to spend a free one. <laughs> this didn't go really badly earlier. Or and you don't have your... Re do you have your reroll? No. No, you don't have your Estus. You don't have I, your I, I have literally nothing. I go in all out for it. But you could... Keep your shield, do yeah. your free attack with the soul arrow, and keep some for a dodge. Then you're well, okay. Well, I, I could, well, I, I'll still have some for a dodge. 
and it'll be fine. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'm, saying, I'm gonna kill him, guys. It's, it's good. Okay. So, uh, if I can spend <laughs> one, <laughs> one, <laughs> one there, <laughs> one to get into his weak spot. Which is his bottom, yep. as we pointed out. <laughs> <laughs> so eloquently. Uh, I need an orange dice, and I need... Oh, could be the orange dice. Three here, but... black dice. So this is got? my soul arrow. So it's two. One, two, three. So, and it's, this... two, so it's two two black dice from it, and then additional dice for the, the, the weak spot? The weak spot, yep. Okay. And... Minus three in total. Orange dice. So this orange is minus three. So one total, yeah, because he has one resistance. This is a magic attack, so one yeah. resistance, and then the orange dice, the hornet's ring, is going to reduce by two. So yeah. it's, we need to see... Seven? Seven would kill him. Oh, oh God's sake. <laughs> two would do nothing. <laughs> two healed him for one. <laughs> you sure you don't want to reroll one of those blanks to be a blank? <laughs> Are you, I'm guessing you want to make I your Estog attack. I have to make my Estog attack. Free Estog attack. Hold on, can this, can this do enough? Uh, this is going to oh, be at minus so five. <laughs> He's got two armor. The air stock has a native minus one to take it to a dice minus three. Jimmy, just the pause minus for a second. Two. Pause. Are you sure you want to do that? It's free. Okay. Yeah. He can't move now. So, Jamie, go. Finish him. Oh, my word. <laughs> See if you do one damage. Oh, minus that. five. Nope. You do nothing. Excellent work, Jamie. <sighs> Don't worry, everyone. I'll just make the double dodge. Yeah? So... Yeah. By choosing to double weapon, you give up the extra dodge dice in your mm -hmm. shield. And we're, let, I did officially nothing. Let's reveal the card. Let's see what he's going to do. Oh my god, I can't. Is a double dodge needed? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's all fine though. Come forward, Jimmy. We're losing you in the oh, back. Sorry, you're, like, sorry. You're, you're retreating into the bookcase. Hiding away. <laughs> Rightfully so. <laughs> What's the, the swooping cleave. So this is the heat up card. The heat, right. What's the swoop? Let's have a look at the swooping cleave. Yeah, I've not seen it yet. Um, oh my word. Look at his big face on this card. <laughs> so, here's the swooping cleave. So, that means he will turn to face Jamie. Yep. And he would push, well, push Jamie off first. Yep. And then he will turn to face Jamie. Okay. So, he will turn to face Jamie. Yep. Then he will push Jamie. Push just, Jamie away. I'll just, go on to this one here. This one here. Yeah. Thank you. Then he will. Turn to face Jamie, okay. move forward once and push him. Oh, and and Jamie can only action. go into yeah. the corner. Yeah. He will then move forward again, because this was a move two, Whoa. and push Jamie again. What? So Jamie can choose one of those two, either the red one that the boss spawned on, yep. Yep. or the other one. I'll go on the one that he spawned on. If he's going to kill me, I want to die So then he will keep lives. facing that wall. He will do six damage to Jamie. Just Jamie, it's targeted Un attack. Unless... But it would hit the entire node <clears throat> had... Someone wow. else been on there. This is a double dodge. So Jamie's paying his one. He needs both of these to be successful, or we are dead. Don't panic, everyone. Picnic. Oh, that one's successful. <laughs> oh, oh, this adds so me. much <laughs> weight to this. <laughs> no, that's worse than the win. Ah, no! Oh, no! I did it. Ah. So we die. He's had four <sighs> health left. And we died. Sorry. Not sorry. Guys, we're going to take a little break there. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go and blow off some stress. We're going to go back to the bonfire, reset, and see if we can fight our way back and take out this boss. <laughs> Might leave Jimmy behind. Yeah, Jimmy, the weak link. <laughs> yeah. hey. We'll see you in the next part. Hey guys, welcome back. So we took a bit of a break there to essentially reset, go back, all the monsters in the rooms came back and we had to fight our way back to the boss again. Now what we've decided to do, rather than actually um, go through every room again, is we just cleared out one of the level one rooms, yep. um, just here, and then we move forward um, from this level one room to this level two room. So we gained an extra 12 souls. Got 12 here, souls. Um, which gave us the opportunity to upgrade a couple more stats. Yep. Um, we have given up, though, um, the six souls in each of those rooms, yep. and now we don't get the tombstone. Yep. From, yes, from this so we one. don't have the gravestone from that one. Yeah, so we only get the gravestone in this room, which will just give us one card then from the boss yep. attacks now. So we've, we've gone about it a slightly different way. On the flip side, though, because we were able to get those extra souls, um, I've been able to upgrade slightly. So I'll just show I was able to grab a Morning Star, um, which is going to give me primarily a little bit more damage, but actually an extra magic resistance, which is pretty fantastic. And I also got a very slightly upgraded shield as well, which isn't going to give me any dodge or anything like that, but it is going to give me a blue instead of a black on my defense. So that's pretty awesome for me. And you do also have your longsword in your offhand now. So if we get to a situation <laughs> where he's nearly dead, 
and we want the superstar knight to go in this and is, finish him off. This is what happens whenever they say, oh, you're now a dual-wielding knight, you can just go nuts. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> must be conservative, must play safe. <laughs> um, mine, I'm geared very similarly. I replaced the armor that I got from you yep. with um, a new set of sunset armor, yep. which rather than being the one blue, one black, is actually two black on the block okay. and one black. So within theory, yeah. on average, rolls slightly better, okay. but it has the potential to roll slightly worse. So okay. I'm kind of being a bit risky. Just so move the stats about a little bit. But I did also get, if you want to show this, yeah. Titanite Shard, which is a weapon upgrade, which gives me basically plus one on my damage. So when I'm attacking Oops. the Gargoyle, basically I ignore one of his armor. Okay. So I was the I was doing a lot of damage last time we were in here. Yeah. And I'm hoping I'm going to do even more now I've got yeah. that. And this little icon in the top left-hand corner, that's what sort of denotes that basically if you have these slots underneath your sword and your armor, that basically just goes in underneath. Yep. And shows you that you now have that ability. And then the text has obviously been yeah. kept in that Fantastic. box, so you can still read what it does so while covering the artwork and requirements. Lovely. And for myself, uh, we found a Murakumo to replace my S-Doc, which is uh, lots of black dice, yeah. uh, and most importantly for me, gives me an, an additional dodge. <laughs> so now you're I'm four, four dice, dice for dodge. Okay. Yeah. So, so hopefully... That is maxed out in terms of dodge. Right. Because okay. there's... So you can uh, currently there are weapons that have one dodge on them. Okay. There are shields that have one dodge on right. them. Right. The highest dodge on armor is two. So four is the highest you can. Okay. Currently. 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 Currently, currently, well, so. currently <laughs> go. Uh, the only thing going into this fight is I still don't have my Estus. I had to spend it against the Sentinel. Yeah. So, so I've also had to give up my um, lucky reroll. Um, still got my heroic and my Estus though. Mm -hmm. So Jamie decided to go for his usual, well, I'm going to use both weapons against <laughs> the Sentinel. <laughs> Didn't do so well with his Murakumo and yeah. then suffered yeah. the consequences. It's definitely easy to kind of get into the track of just taking guys out, taking guys out, and all of a sudden you come across a big guy or a couple of big guys and it's just like, oh, no, hold on a second. If yeah. I can't one-hit these, yeah. I have to prepare for that damage going back. Um, so now we're ready for the Gargoyle again, who's back to 26 ready. health. He's fully reset. So yeah. we do have the first activation token on you. Yep. Are you comfortable tanking and going first again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, so the only thing I say from the last time we played this is let's go into the split into corners because yeah. he rushed down the middle last time. Yeah, he did. So we now yeah. know that that's generally going to be the way. I'll just double check that these are the correct five and yeah. there's no heat up cards. So here. again, now this is going to be slightly different. It's going to be we're going to take four out of the five again. So, so it we could, could be the see same another, four, or, or it, it could be, be a different one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the order's probably going to be different, and we only get to see one of them because we skipped doing this room. Yeah. Speed run it. So one, two, we'll go for that middle one and that end one. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. And then, Jamie, if you want to draw one this time. Yeah, sure thing. And we will have a look at it. It's the halberd thrust, the one that so runs down the, that one. Okay, down the So we, we know this one. Yeah, we've so seen this we'll one before. Hold on to that. that will then get shuffled in. And now we place ourselves into the boss. Place ourselves. Mm -hmm. okay, so I'm definitely good with the in front middle, and you guys want to split up now. Did you want to come into one of the corners? Oh! Because if you come into a corner, if it is that halberd yeah. dust, it will miss. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it then. Uh, I'm going to duck over here. Jamie, where do you yeah. want to go? Oh, uh, into this corner. You're going to hide okay. on that corner. Yeah. Okay, so I'll move into the corner, and your hope here essentially is that if he does come into me, then I can keep him faced or potentially dodge out the way or and not take just, any damage. may just miss. Yeah. Because we yeah. know that the, the one we have, the, the only thing we can base this choice on is the card we saw. Yeah, the we thrust. saw Halberd Thrust, yeah. and we know that's move forward one, and then attack gotcha. at range one. So if it's that, we know it'll miss, and that's cool. kind of the only information we've got to go on for now. <laughs> so let's see it. What is his first attack this His time? first attack is Sweeping Strikes. This is a new one. Okay. We haven't seen this one sure. yet, so I'd pass that over to you. Yeah. So he will move forward once and push, yeah. and then he will do a five damage attack in all three of his arcs okay. at range one. Right. So with that attack there, Jamie has moved the model forward, so he would move forward onto that central node, yeah. and then he would hit all of these arcs, mm -hmm. so all of these nodes here, yep. for, for five physical damage. It's only a dodge of one, which okay. makes Jamie happy. Yeah. Makes us... Not well, so happy. We're yep. fine, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, doesn't hit anyone. Because he doesn't have the range, yeah. Weak in the back arc, okay. and it is over to you for your activation. Uh, so goodness, so it would take me potentially one, two, three... Read to get so it cost order? you two stamina because your first yeah. is free. Um, do you know what? I think I'm just tempted to keep him facing me. 
Um, but if I go back, he'll turn around. Yeah, so yeah, I'll do that. Go one, spend a stamina, and spend another stamina to get around behind. Yeah. Pop that down. And then I'll use my Morning Star. Yeah. And I will use the three stamina to do the two blue dice. Okie dokie. And then you will get an additional black because you are in the weak, the weak point. Awesome. Okay, let's see if we can start this quite nice. Oh, one set die. That's okay. Oh, okay. big boy. So minus the two. Yep. For his armor. That's right. That is five damage. Wow. So twenty down to twenty-one after one attack. Just gonna start. Okay, I will settle for that as long as he doesn't one-shot me now for using yeah. all that stamina. So is that you done? That is so me the done. The aggro yep. token is on you. Yeah. And this time it's electric breath. So he's gonna just wheel round to face you. Okay. And then he's going to shoot you in the face or his front arc. <laughs> range of one. This is gonna be four magic damage. Okay, so I have, thanks to my Morning Star now, a black dice, and my armor's gonna give me a blue. So black and blue. Reason. That's four magic damage. Okay. And you take one, so awesome. you're fine. So one damage. And then that passes over to me. Okay. So I'm gonna do something similar to what I did last time. I'm gonna move up to that one yeah. for free, and then if you want to move me into his backup, that's so that currently cost is, me that's not his weak one at the minute. No, nope. okay. and then I'm going to use my heroic. Oh, okay, yeah. And then use that move to move round to his weak arc, mm -hmm. and then awesome. I'm going to grab two of those and two of those, and I am now with my titanite at plus one, so it's these dice minus one in total. So you're getting a plus one. He's got minus two from the armor, so just minus one. Oh, oi! It's another five damage on that. Nice. So I wow. that one. So he's taken ten from two attacks. <laughs> and I've used one stamina. Oh, I don't want to let the team down now. No. So down to sixteen already. Yep. Wow. The difference, yeah, the difference a single upgrade gives you going from a black to a blue dice, yep. or well, Huge. obviously that was your heroic there, but that's epic. Yeah. So what's the next attack? So his next attack is going to be the tail whip. Okay. So that is just going to hit me. Mm -hmm. So he will attack first, and he yeah. attacks his right and back arc okay. for four physical damage. Okay. So I get three black dice now. Oof, that's quite good. As long as they're not all blank, exactly. it's pretty good. <laughs> so what, zero to six is your kind yeah, of range yeah. there? And I take one. Okay. So I'm quite happy with that. And then he will turn to face me, because I am the aggro. Mm -hmm. He will push me off. So I will just go straight straight back, and he will move straight back. Oh, he will, oh sorry, back. He's, he's retreating away. Ah, okay. And then it is over to Jamie, and he is weak in the front. Weak in the front. So I'm going to take advantage of having all the dodge in the world, and yeah. swap out my shield <laughs> to yeah. give my, bring in my soul arrow. So you're double weaponing again. Double weaponing yeah. again. It's never gone wrong. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to free, free move yep. Yep. to here. Yep. Spend one stamina to get to there. Okay. I am then going to make my... Oh, <laughs> oh, oh that excited oh, giggle is no, making me nervous. Flask. Uh, I'm going to spend my three soul arrow, so three black yep. dice, and my orange dice for the hornet ring. Okay. And this is minus three. Yep, that's magic. Here's as far as you can. So, okay. uh, two, two damage. damage. Yeah. And then I'm going to roll... That's him to 14. For three stamina. My Murakumo. It's on 14. Which gives me f four black dice, three from the attack, four, one being in the weak spot, wow. and the orange dice. Okay. And this is going to be at minus four okay. because it is a physical attack. And it does. Three more damage. So I did five as well. <laughs> oh, what, I was wrong. <laughs> Would you team. look at that? <laughs> what a but team. But you heated him up. What he a did team. go to 11, so he's gone through his 12 to heat up. So we'll go for the same as we did last time. Oh, I really hope this doesn't all turn yeah. on his head super quickly. Oh, yeah. don't do this to me, Alex. Okay, go on that one. Not looking. You shuffle them this time. I don't want to be involved in it. <laughs> <laughs> and this time, if the top guard's not, it's his fault. Yeah. <laughs> Alex. I better rig it then, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so okay. I've got the aggro token. Yeah, you do indeed. So, what is it going to be? Electric Breath. So he's already Ooh. facing Jamie. Yep. Uh, Jamie is the only character in range. Oh, what uh, is the range? Range one. Oh yeah, so I'm yep. going to be outside of it then. Oh, yep. where are moved? you standing? Where am I standing? I think you went to attack him when he was on this note. Yes, yeah, so I was here. So, yeah. My bad, sorry about that. I was kind of freely roaming about the map a little bit there. Uh, and then that's going to be four magic damage. It's got a dodge of two. Yep, so okay. I'll make the dodge. 
So Tell you're me. rolling like a four dice. dice. A three dice. A three so dice. I swapped out my shield. Of course felt, he did. Felt confident. Of course he did. Right. Well, and it's just to be equal us. And you need to be equal us. And you need two. Got it. Hey! <laughs> he did, did it. it! I'm getting out of here. If though. only you had your heroic. But <laughs> totally, I wish. Well, oh. he's not weak there, is he? So. No. Oh my goodness. Move into it. Yeah. So, at that point, it is back to you. Oh, so you recover man. two stamina. Yes. And where's his weak point now? He is weak on the left. Point. So it'd be one and then a stamina and a stamina to get in there. Yeah. But it would mean he also would potentially turn away from you guys. So I think you could you could absolutely go hell for leather on getting in, do a yeah. big hit and then Estus. Yeah, because I could use so if I have a quick look at my board, I could use two to get in. Yep. Oh I could and then I could use three on my morning star. Yeah. So yes, and that will still leave me one spare to then. And then you can Estus. Fantastic. And you could so even swap your sword out. Stop it. <laughs> stop <laughs> it. Um, so I will go one for free. Yep. Two. Uh, sorry, that will cost me one stamina, and then that will cost me a second stamina. Yep. So pop those in. And then I will exert myself with three stamina mm-hmm. for my morning star attack, which is oh. going to give me two blue. Perfect. Yeah. And a black then for the weak spot. Yeah, you see the importance of the weak spot and just keeping those added dice. And this will yeah. be two armor to work through, so minus two. Oh, so the one damage on that. Don't have my reroll. Yeah, it's going to no, be just one. There's nothing, one unfortunately, damage. I can do to make that so he's better. On ten. So he's on ten. So he's in approaching kill range for me. And, and then I will trigger my Estus Flask, Estus. definitely. And that's going to go ahead and just wipe everything away. Oh, my stamina's gone. Oh, my stamina's back. Yeah. And my health. And what's he going to do to me? So it's the one we saw earlier that we hadn't seen previously, okay. the sweeping strike. Mm-hmm. So he will turn to face you. Good. The aggro. Mm-hmm. And you were the nearest anyway. Yep. Even had the assassin been the aggro, <laughs> he would still turn to face you. Mm-hmm. He will push you off. Okay. He will move one towards you. Oh, So man. you could duck behind oh, him and he will miss completely. Yeah. Yep. So, so he'll he move into that in. node. And then you... Jump out over to oh, there. Fantastic. He hits all of these arcs, but you're in the back, oh. and he misses everything. Planned it. And then this is over to me. Okay. I recover that one. If you want to move me one into the middle, one towards him, yep. and another towards him. When did he have a weak arc? He yeah. is weak in the back. Then I think. You and then I'm go going to pay three. So I've spent seven. Uh, spent five now. Sorry. And then I'm going to use the same dice I used last time, okay. so if you can pass me two of those oh, blues. Yeah, there you go. And I am dice minus one again. Oh, wow. Due to my tight knight. Can't kill him. Oh! It's big. That's six damage. Mm-hmm. So he's got four left. Oh, my word. Um, I am going to Estus just as like a safety Estus, because we've yeah. got him close. Don't, don't want to take any unnecessary <laughs> risks. Don't I do. Because <laughs> so I, I could feel it. <laughs> I will Estus there. How much health you got? Four. He's got four. I can do that. Sure. If I survive. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't... Oh, there it is. So nope. he's gone for yep, the Saki. flying tail whip. Wow. Oh, something we need to do is his special rule kick Yes, sorry. He does have a special oh, rule. Oh, so my. His... Now he's heated up, his um, attacks will cost additional stamina so when they're range zero. So mine range. would have cost one more, oh, but I've anyway. Yeah, right. so. okay. um, hmm. so flying tail whip, he will push me off. Yeah. Which way do you want to go? I want to go... Nowhere. <laughs> I'll go on to this one. Okay. Then he will turn to face me. Okay. Oh no. This is it's going to hit everyone. There's nothing I can but do about that. it's dodging one, so that's fine. So he's going to move me. into here, okay. if you just push me onto that one in yep. a straight line. Oh my word. And then he's going to hit everyone. So if you want to show that to the no, guys. No, it's okay. So uh, we, haven't seen, oh, we haven't seen this one before. No, this is the heat up card. It's going to hit everyone <laughs> yep. for six damage oh. that's standing in any arc other than the rear one. Okay, so go ahead. Who's going to start with yourself? I'll start with me yep. on the blocking. Yep. So I need... Three black dice, please. Okay. One, two, in there. Most yeah, important part about this is he has no weak point afterwards. Okay. So maybe Jamie can't, can't finish him. Okay. I have to be sensible for once. Something good, please. Yeah, that'll work. So it was six. Six, so by three. I'll take three. Okay. Three. Over to myself. Oh, dodge one. <laughs> where do you want to dodge two? Or do you want to stay where you are? Uh, it's, I'm actually going to dodge... I'll dodge there. Okay. Um, and I 
I have three for Dominic Dodge Dice. I need one to be successful. Just one. Alright, okay. You got your luck. There we go. Don't need it. Nice. Of course I get a two dodge on this one. Yep. Uh, and that's me then. Round to me then. Is this a magical or this is physical? Physical. Yeah, physical. So I'm going to have two blue for mine. There you go. Thank you. So you could potentially take nothing here. Why do you say that, Alan? <laughs> you take two. I <laughs> take two. Now, is it worth you using your heroic ability at this time to take try and take nothing? Because you just, might not just for safety. So my heroic ability would add in an extra blue dice yeah. on top. Do you know what? You're not gonna Let's like do the it. six damage is the highest damage he does. So Let's do it. Hey. Hey. And that's Nicely what heroics done. are for. Yeah. Put that over. Using your heroics is one of those things where you want to keep it for the most optimal time. Yeah. But, but then you, you just keep die hiding before it. you use it. Then well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so that's that done. Jamie, yeah. your activation. Yep. You recover two. I recover two. I'm he isn't weak anywhere. No. So I'm going to swap in my target shield. I'm okay. bunker up a little bit. Good man. I'm going to walk into the corner. Okay. And I'm going to throw a soul arrow at him. Come for, on. For, for four stamina? <laughs> no. I'm going to throw my, my cheap one at him. Okay. So it's just two black dice. So we four and health. An orange. We can get there. It's on four health. Yeah. He's got four health left. Jimmy. No. <laughs> No, we need to let the knight go and dual wield him. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> He's got to learn. So this minus three. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> Smooth. I could luck reroll my... No. You could luck reroll the orange no. one. No. I'd be up for you luck reroll. Yeah. Yeah. I'm luck yeah. rerolling the orange yeah. one. No. <laughs> oh, he's going to die now. I did two. Okay, so he's got two health left. Yeah. Okay. I should have well spent But now there's going to be no reason for the knight to... Joe yeah, Wheel, because he's just going to kill him with the morning. No, I'm going to Joe Wheel. Just in case. Just in case. So, oh, no. what's the so next attack? He goes then? first. Yep. So, he hits behind him oh. and the right. And who's, he tar who's he targeting here? No one. No one. It's just oh, wow. an arc attack first. So, it's just... so he's just missed everybody. Oh, with fantastic. That. And then he is going to target Jamie yep. and move one it's away. It's almost like he doesn't oh, know what he's doing word. here. He's weak in the front. Yeah. <laughs> He's literally just positioned himself for you. Prime and ready <laughs> for you to come in and finish this last two health. So okay. First things first. Yeah. Swap out the shield for the. Oh, man. Why Bear in mind that these attacks cost one additional stamina because of his special yeah. rule. Okay. So It'll be fine. If you go for both of these attacks, you and have don't spend kill nine him. stamina. Yeah, that's worth it. He's got two health left. <laughs> I'm gonna, so I'm going to put my long sword and my morning star out. Yep. Which attack are you going to start with? So we'll I have to move one so in and then move straight, move straight in. in. Lovely. Just move straight, straight, in. straight in. I'm going to start with the morning star. I'm going to start with oh, the one that... I feel you should start with the one that's been with you since no. the beginning. <laughs> no. <laughs> so the morning star is going to cost me three stamina. So up to four because of the special rule. Yep. Oh, his, his flying. That's him flying yep. high, me trying to reach up to him. Yep. Yep. Uh, so that'll be three blue. And my black from Oof. attacking his weakness. Oh three or two blue? Uh, oh, sorry, two blue. Sorry, I'm trying to add an extra. Three blue is sorry, three stam and a two blue. Yeah. We so we need a roll of five, uh, four, four to kill him. See Come on, I believe it's three. <laughs> yes, dual wield paid off. So you've got he's, <laughs> he's got one health. Are you going to risk the dual wield attack? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Okie yeah. dokie. So it cost you five. So you're going to be on one stamina. I'm doing it. Well worth it. I, I am it's fully happening. supportive of this move. It's so basically this entire went from full yep. to now spending all of it yep. because of his flying high ability and me using a three and a four stamina attack. Yep. yep. Okay. He has so one health left. And so you have I no have luck. a blue and a black and, and a black. And you have no luck. And I just need four. Three. 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 three roll roll of three. Has he done it? Yeah. He's done it! Yes! <laughs> Nicely done. Never worried. Never yes. worried. So you spent the entire time. I love how oh. at the start it was like, so you've got that. So if it gets to a point where it's your activation, <laughs> he's only got one health left. Yeah. You can dual wield. Yeah. And you were like, no. Oh, no. I no. Didn't want to do no. It. I didn't and then it. you do it. We did it. So oh. he would die. We would get his specific equipment. We oh. get a halberd. We get his tail axe. Oh, and wow. And we get his shield. So they mm. are equipment. They are just added into yeah. our inventory. For us to then essentially... Oh, just straight into the inventory. Just straight into the inventory. Yeah. Wow. Um, so we essentially like loot his body for yeah. all of his wares. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Um, and then we pick up all of these tiles, mm -hmm. apart from the bonfire one. Yeah. We get our sparks back. Yeah. Oh, good. We get one soul per player per the sparks remaining. So we get three souls for killing okay. him. We had one spark left when we killed him. Nice. We get our sparks reset. 
And then we reset the board, ready to go and fight one of the main bosses. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, we're going to wrap this up there. That was a slog yeah. as, a, as a basic intro to the game. We hope you enjoyed it and picked up how to play. We covered most of the things you're going to see as you work your way through. Thank you, Alex and Jamie. Thank if you. you guys enjoyed it, please leave a comment below and we will see you in the next video. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming Let's Plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.